And we apologize, man. We really do apologize for the fact that we left you guys for so long. I think the last show was like in like April, something like that. And uh, we thought it was going pretty good at some point. And uh, there we are. <laughs> Money. <laughs> you know, any, everything's good free. I mean, to be honest, when you get radio time for free, it's something. But, you know, once somebody says, okay, look, we're going to have you work. You go, all right, well, give me some money to work. I'd rather do it free when I want to. And have fun. And have some fun with it. And be like, oh, I'm excited to be here as opposed to, all right, this is my job. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why we went away for a little while. But, you know, and I apologize. We left a lot of you guys lonely. I get my MySpace. There's people writing, Patrice, I, and I would answer you if I knew how to type. You understand? I, I talk better. I, I, <laughs> and I that, might not even do that that, that well. Talk type or something. <laughs> but yeah. I, I don't know how to type my feelings. I You can't. Mm. If you type retarded, you, you sound can't. retarded. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, listen, dude, you cannot man, 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 like yeah. a robot. So that's why I don't answer a lot of your emails because it don't make any sense. I was hoping to come back. So we got three hours today. We got like we 9 to 12 a.m., dude. We're going to talk about everything. Y'all get your calls. What's the, what's the number, Danny? 866-WOW-1-WOW is the same number on AU's 866-969-1969. And we're on uh, XM202 tonight, right? That's right. And uh, so, you know, if your friends is out there listening, if you're home trying to pretend to like your mama's mama, your, um, your, your girl's mama, because <laughs> she came up with her fucking family. <laughs> if you're home pretending to wife, like your wife's the in-laws and the shit in-laws, you're sitting around listening, cousins. Just listening to your dumb wife's mother go you know um, you know I, I usually cook my turkey who gives a fuck what you usually do that's why you- <laughs> 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 I can't be I can't lie either because my mother came to visit and my mom's is like I don't know what it is about women, man. I think they have kids just so somebody has to listen to them. <laughs> and she's just hovering around me while I'm cooking. Like, I know how to cook, dude. I'm almost 40. I know how to cook. I was a latchkey kid. You know what I'm saying? I would cook. I would be home by myself, you know, come in, the, unlock the door at eight years old, come in, and I would cook chicken and, and, and pasta and shit when I was eight. So I know how to cook. But she comes in and then she just wants to be your mother. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and, I, and I'm telling her, like, my the way I know how to cook turkey. And the way I know how to cook turkey is I learned from this uh, Puerto Rican chef. He puts the oven at 500 degrees first and, like, seals the, seals the, the juice. juice. Oh, oh like, shit. Sears it. There you go, nigga. I didn't know that shit. But that's my shit now. I fucking put the turn. I practiced with like seven chickens before Thanksgiving, like throughout the month, just been cooking chicken. And I was confident. And she's just watching. And then she does this where I go, Miles, why don't you just, you know, and she refuses to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, get away from me. And it's hard. You can't tell your mother, look, you know, get go on. You know what it's I'm your saying? mom, man. What else it's, is she going to do? It, that's what I'm saying. I think, like. She's got to justify her position. Which is, you know, which is. I don't know what it is. You can't, you know, it's hard to be a pimp when you can't tell your mama, <laughs> Ma, go sit down. When she dismisses your pimpness, you can't pimp your mama. So she's she, she like, listen, I'm going to stand over you and watch you cook this turkey. So I'm like, look, Ma, look, why don't you just sit down and relax? And she won't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to figure out how to, like, you know, why don't you, you know, get on out of here, mom, you know, I'm trying to, so she'll just go, no, I'm, this is, and this is woman stuff, she gets, becomes a woman sometimes, she'll double talk me, and I'm sitting there going, my mom's just double talking me, but I can't curse her out like a, like she's my girl, she's like, well, I'm just watching, uh, Dante, you breathing like a monster movie, nigga. Sorry. You all right, Dante? Yeah, you okay, nigga, you got sleep at me, oh, motherfucker? Actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sit up. <laughs> <laughs> so I just just see the chicken go. Is that loud? <laughs> Nigga, <Jeez>. yes. <laughs> we thought we thought Friday the Thirteenth was outside. Turn your headphones up, goddamn. <laughs> you can't hear yourself breathing. <laughs> what, you, what you think we had a bad signal? <sighs> All right, then. It's not like a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I ain't right. yeah, I'm good. I'm good. A little right. stuffy. Now I'm talking about moms, but listen, moms, I love you. She's listening, and I love her up there. It's just that, listen, just relax for a minute. I, I, I run this. I'm a homeowner. 
Well, she was double talking <laughs> you, but are you sure she just didn't want yeah, to make no, sure you she, did it right? No, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't make sure I do it right. So that she doesn't have to force herself to eat bad cooking? Nigga, I don't cook bad food. I know, but you think she, she trusts you like that? She, it's not about, that's the thing. It's not about that she trusts you. It's about that she she don't care that is right or wrong. See, that's what I'm oh, saying. Okay. See, when your mama, and this is this is referring to women out there. Your mother doesn't have to have an option two to deal with her son. She don't have no. to have a new option. Your the options you give your mother is is really at her mercy that she has the 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 the, the logic that she will that she will like release herself or submit to the logic of not of having a second option. Because when she talks to her son, she don't have to have option two. So it's like, Ma, listen. I know how to cook the turkey, right? So she, and it's like, and dude, it's like everything, everything is, she she has a method of everything. It's like, you know, when you open the oven, you should open it with, you know, open it from the right side, because if the right side is it's better if you open the oven on the right side. Cause it's, moms, I know how to open the oven. You know, you should use the thing with the thing, you know, or, or she see me, I have socks on, you know, I'm diabetic, so, you know, I got to be careful with the feet. But I got socks on. I walk from from the bathroom to the the middle of the bathroom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know you gotta wear slippers and you know slippers on your feet. You know you gotta. Do and then here's the thing: when you say okay to a woman, they keep going. Even your girl, yeah. like you, she goes, you know, like my girl will go, you know, did you take your medicine? Yeah, I took it. All right, because you know if you don't take your medicine, I said that motherfucker. I said I took, I it. took my medicine. But this, they, they don't have this filter. They don't have editing, Boogie. That's the thing. And the people who listen to the show for the first time, I, I like to ramble, you know. So you got to keep up with me. I'll go from back and forth, back and forth, because as things hit me in a passionate level, and I got to leave what we was just talking about, so you got to keep me focused. And if you if I was talking about something that you was into for a second, I left it, and you remind me. Because so, I move, I keep it moving. And I'm going to explain to you, Again, if you listen for the first time, what my show is about. Yeah. It's not about subjugating women as much as I would want it to be that. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about subjugating women. It's not about relationships. It's not like, oh, to make your relationship better. It's about options. And it's about making men feel like just because they decided to be in a relationship with a woman that they did not give their life like they did they did not like cash in on happiness you understand what i'm saying that you didn't cash in on being a happy person in a relationship dante once told me we used to talk all the time dude like about the situation and dante's married and i'm like does it ever end when in terms of trying to constantly pimp your girl does it ever end does it stop is there is there a time where you could go ah oh, you know I love her, and I can just stop being, you know, a guy that watches what she does. I can stop being a guy who feels like he has to constantly be on his girl. It never stops never stop. because women's they're they're abusive. They're out to abuse you. And what I mean by that is that the abuse comes from the fact that they want a tough man. They want a guy who can who they feel like they can follow. And they're constantly seeing if you that guy. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to always be qualify, on. You got to qualify yeah. yourself as the guy who can be her her masculine entity. You got to be and on guard. Always. They want you to qualify that you're that masculine entity and that you're strong enough to 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 basically keep them safe or comfortable. Run, run, the, run show. the show. Run the show. Make her feel like if y'all at a restaurant and you order, you know, a steak and some rice <laughs> and, and, a, and, 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 and and broccoli and the, the waiter brings you steak, french fries and broccoli, right? And she immediately opens her mouth to go, excuse me, waiter, um, he ordered, um, he ordered rice. He didn't order french fries. You have to put your girl in a sense in a, in a mindset where she doesn't feel like she needs to tell the waiter about your situation. Right. She 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 looks at no. you and goes, "You can handle that." She doesn't feel like my man is letting this go because he's just letting it go. She's feeling like he wants to eat French fries instead of rice, and she feels comfortable with how comfortable you are. And yeah. that's where 
you got to constantly keep your girl, and she'll constantly challenge it. It'll go good for six months, and then the seventh month, she'll challenge you again. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I tell my girl, like, <clears throat> it's like, okay, right now, it's it's the toughest time in my life in terms of women, because I don't have eight. I have one, you know, who, you know, we do the, we do the swing thing. You know what I'm saying? So the tough time is the fact that, all right, I'm going to tell you something, ladies. If you meet a guy in the street and he says to you, I don't have a girlfriend, you got to understand he has at least seven. You understand what I'm saying? He has at least seven women. And the reason, he, the reason that is is because we play a numbers game. Men don't, we can't sit at a club and wait for you, you know, Mrs. Wright, to just walk up and say, hey, how you doing? Or walk down the street and we in our, in our nicest suit and smelling the nice, smelling real good, smelling our best, and we walking up the street and some girl goes, hey, ooh, look at you, you look, <laughs> hey, listen, baby, oh, and you go, well, wait, I, I'm wait, going I to work, know. I, I, you know what I'm saying? We have to actively be out there to you know, you know to feed our sexuality you understand what i'm saying we don't we're not looking for mrs right as they say we're looking for mrs right now. right now <laughs> as they say mrs right now so we have to actively so if you think that a guy meets you in the street and you don't know who he is right and you're attracted to him you think that you're the only woman that's attracted to him he he actively actively embraces any woman who's attracted to him. You understand what I'm saying? So if a woman goes, if a woman comes in and goes, hey, how are you? Or he goes, how are you to a woman? And she goes, hey, and now, you know, you're talking. He gets the number. He, trust me, he got, he got at least 20 that day. And why I say seven is because it boils down to a team. You pick like UFC and shit. You pick, <laughs> you pick, the, you pick it's, like, it's like karate class. It's training. It really is. My girl now, you know, I never admitted to her. But she's always like, we just now started kind of admitting. I started kind of admitting to her that I had a lot of girls uh, at the time that were all candidates. It was like karate class, okay? So when you meet a chick in karate class, it's easy to have seven women when they're all at the same level in your karate class. You meet right. them new, and then you all get them their white belts, and they and they don't know anything. And you tell them all kind of bullshit, all kind of lies, all kind of bullshit. You know, you, 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 you're dragging them along, you're telling them this, you're telling them that, and they listening. You know, you say, hey, baby, you know, let me tell you something. I used to tell my girl, stay in the Matrix. Wait, basically, surface, you can only say that happiness. to a chick. You can only say it's surface happiness. Yes, you can don't dig underneath because you're going to find something. You're going to find something if you dig. Stay surface happy. If... If you dig, you're going to find something. So what happens is you line them up and you say, you know, you tell them, like the Matrix, okay? The Matrix, I go, listen, when you eat the, the, the blue pill or the red pill, whichever one makes you pop out and understand that the world's fucked up, don't eat that pill. Stay in this wonderful world of two days a week that we in. Or stay in this wonderful yeah, world of, the glitches. of an hour, Make come sure by for an hour, the and then get out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? you got to get them that. So you tell everybody these particular little bullshits. You, you have your space. You do this, that. So what happens is women's nature, okay, is to challenge you. And for a guy, if he has seven women in his karate class, you understand what I'm saying? If he has seven women in his karate class, eventually they're all going to want to bump, get bumped up to the next belt. You understand? Well, a lot of them get knocked off right. Some of them don't. Some even, of them don't know how to. They right. don't even. You they start don't make doing it past the, first right. Belt. You start. You start getting them into into the elephant walk or the and, duck walk, and whatever then they do. Push ups, and she's just like, I ain't putting. As soon as she hears the first bit, she's like, she might be out of there. You understand? Oh. But there's some that want to say, okay, I'm gonna stick it through, just because I see something in this guy. So let's say you got eight girls, one drops off, you got seven, and that starts the karate class, and yeah. they like sensei, they down with you, right? So you you they following you and you give them all that bullshit, then eventually nature tells them when it's time to try to bump their belt up, okay? When they go, okay, they get in the stands, they go hi ya, just to see if they're better than you, just to see if all your teachings are bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So they they get in the stands, and all a woman wants you to do, and this is referring to ended up being your last lady, which is I'm I'm at now, where it's, it's like you. It, they keep challenging you, and the thing that keeps them with you is every time they challenge you, 
you have to be able to take their karate kick and flip, not only block it, but block it and make her fall and smash her head and make her go, holy shit, I'm sorry, master. He's, you are good. <laughs> and then she is down for you to fucking be the master for the next, to the, the next, next session. The next six months. Now, as these women are living up, <laughs> they're falling off. Maybe they can't afford the class. Yep. <laughs> you know, maybe, uh, you can't know, they, they move, they can't make it to the fucking school. <laughs> you know, they, they decided to join the, uh, the other motherfucker from Karate Kid, that nigga, cause, cause I'm telling them wax on, wax off, and this Cobra nigga's like, Con. <laughs> they, go to they Cobra wanna join Con. Cobra Con. <laughs> cause, cause I'm, I'm doing the slow wax on, wax off shit. Like, alright bitch, listen, just, just stare at that soda can for 10 hours. But master, stare at the soda can. So one of them like, fuck this nigga. I ain't staring at no motherfucking soda can. So they leave. I want to go kick a motherfucker. So I got four left staring at soda cans. Then you get up the next level. Now you got to understand, these chicks is at brown belt status. The four that's left is at brown belt status. It's getting difficult. Till one day, and my girl asked me, why, uh, and this is for every chick, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you are the guy's girlfriend. If you have a handsome, smart winner, you were the product of hanging in there. You weren't the product of, I met you, and I... It was magical. I, it was magic. I, oh, oh God, I, I found Mrs. Wright. I found the wonderful... Oh, oh. None of that. He, wa he waited, and you waited, and you hung in there till he got rid of the other four. Okay, so my girl finally goes, how did I, how did you... It's because you, you hung around. She was hurt, because she wanted it to be... I'm so special, right. but ladies, you got to understand, you'll never be special right away for a guy. You're not special right away. We're special right away. Touch on that, like, when you think <clears throat> about uh, why is that not the case? It's not the case because of the system that they set up, put us under in the first place. Well, it's because it has to be a it's cause game. we're auditioning. We're auditioning for... We're auditioning for the vagina. Right. We're auditioning for something that innately we're better than. And as I'm auditioning for something that I really feel like I, I should get at the same ease in which a girl can get my dick, that every time I'm showing her all the good stuff, basically what we're doing is showing, like, <clears throat> okay, I just bought a crib, right? All got the got all type of shit in it, you Black know, screens, bunch of hot, TVs and TVs. shit, and fucking uh, uh, crown molding, all that goofy <laughs> shit. <clears throat> and and the thing is, I told my girl, I said, sweetie, you don't understand how hard it is. Like I was telling her, uh, Dante, uh, I was like, Dante's like, you get ready, girl, yet? <laughs> and and it ain't cause I go, nah, I'm still. It. But this is my reaction. She goes, you get ready, girl, yet? I go. <sighs> nah, nah, man. Oh, wow. And the reason is, you the, he knows you what deny is, what and he I know what deny is. It's nah, man. I ain't got no other bitch. Fucking <sighs> making him feel magical in this goddamn house that I didn't make good for me. I made good for bitches, fictitious bitches that ain't there yet. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? For chicks that don't exist. Do you know what would be going on in your house now? That's what I'm saying. So my boys are like, they'll uh, come in. My friends will come no. in. They not. They don't go. Yo, your house is dope. For you, they go. Damn. <laughs> All the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pussy house. But I'm goofy because I gave my girl a key, and my girl here's the problem. Why, but this she's a trooper. Thank God she's a trooper because I have to leave her. She, she she likes girls, thank God. So we we will do a little this and that. Yeah. But the thing is, I tell her, if she wasn't a trooper, she would have to leave, dude, because I could not. I, look, I told her, you, I, she, and she goes, why? What? She got mad. I tell her, yeah, my friends come in there. You got to understand, sweetie, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that that when I walk in my bed, I personally, I can sleep on an air mattress, you know. Personally, I don't need to have a big fish right. tank. I don't. I eat fish, but I want to have stuff in there to go. Whoa! I got. I hang artwork on my garage, so that. 
<laughs> when you drive, I put a rug and, down. I put a rug down in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> so a bitch go in my garage. She go, ooh. Yeah, what a nice garage. Rug. Oh, my God. I don't give a fuck. You think I want to spend thousands of dollars to put the, some goofy-ass gay crown molding? It's to, it's to, but my girl, here's the thing. I don't sneak bitches in. There's no other chick except for one chick we had a threesome with that's ever been in the house. You know why? Because goofy me gave my girl the keys. Key. Okay? But I can't. <clears throat> she is a my girl going back she to what I was talking about. Belt. She is a fourth degree <laughs> black belt in me, so I can't do the dumb shit. I can't just oh, dismiss man. her with shit because for real, for real, when she kicks at me now, it you takes better, two or three be, blocks. You better be ready. As I fight the bitch, I'm sweating because she knows. <laughs> she knows you. <laughs> she, she knows. knows all your she tricks. knows shit, and it's harder for me to catch her now that. She's a fourth degree black belt, dude. She can go teach other chicks. That's you it. understand? She can, She's a teacher now, but she constantly trying to fight me. So the thing is, she comes to the crib, and I still got certain kind of control over her where it's like, okay, I tell her, she will ring the bell. But it, it's almost like this pseudo ringing the bell today. If anybody's in there, I'm on the way. But basically, she just unlocks the door. So it's like right now, I don't, I can't tell her. See, <clears throat> another thing, uh, fellas. Truth. See, people, honesty doesn't exist in a relationship. It, it doesn't exist. No. It's routine exists. You understand? Once you establish the, a routine, that is their attachment. That's, their, that's what honesty is, is a routine. Routine is, okay, when I, I, he allows me to come over by the house anytime I want because I have a key. Now, if I tell, him, if I tell my girl, yo... Yo, don't come over here tonight. You know what I mean? Don't come by here tonight. She's going to be like, why? Why? I can't say no shit because I have a downstairs and upstairs. So I can't say no shit like I just want to be by myself. Because there's places in my house where I can be by myself without her. I got a whole downstairs that she's really not allowed to come fuck with. I got two chairs in there. It's just for me and, like, if my boy come over, we could talk some shit with a big, goofy TV and the whole thing. She, no, if she goes upstairs, I really could be alone. So if I say some shit like, I just want to be in my own space, and <laughs> she going to know it's some bullshit going on. It, it's going to be some bullshit going on. If she goes for it, she goes for it. But if I say some goofy shit like, I want to be in my own space, this is what I'm saying about lying. Me and this motherfucker, I mean, y'all will learn a that. lot about us, man, because, <clears throat> like, if people don't know, the reason Dante's up here, because we powwow about a lot of shit, dude. Like, we go back and forth. Dante has a idea that you should lie. I had this idea that you should be completely honest, because it's like, look, you, so you got girlfriends? No, but I got a bunch of bitches. You know, I, I do. But... Anytime I meet a girl, I tell her I got a girlfriend, I got a girlfriend. So the thing is, I don't, I can't, I don't know how to lie. So if my, if I say some goofy shit like, I'm not, I'm not, uh, <clears throat> I just want to be in my own world. Or so, what other lie? Um, I, uh, I tell you, here's how hardcore my girl is in terms of, 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 a, of a belt, of a belt system. My car got fucked up the other day. I told her, look, I got to drop my car off at the garage. Um, I ain't gonna have it for a couple of days. They said I, I need a new uh, something on the wheel and shit. So she goes, okay. All right. So next call she made, I answer the phone. I'm at the mall. She's like, uh, wh wh hey, what's up? I'm I'm sitting here worried about you, thinking you need a ride to pick you up at the garage. <laughs> Where you at? I'm at the mall. Well. You know that ten seconds how'd of silence. You, well, how'd you? I thought your well, car. Well, well, what the fuck you? How are you? At the mall. What? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's say, let's say I was with a bitch. I'm caught. I'm caught because, first of all, I can't not answer the phone. That's rule number one. Yeah. Once you establish you answer the phone, then you know, you even if you get on the, the phone, phone and go, look, bitch, I don't want to talk to you, lie. You know what I'm saying? But this is why I say you have to, you have, when you lie, you got to lie three years ahead. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, but who can keep track of that shit? I can. Uh, <laughs> you got to think about where you sh where you want to be at three to five years. If you don't want to pick up the phone five years from now, you got to not pick up the phone now. 
Yeah, that's true. But that's not lying, though. Look, let me tell you something. That's trying I, a little be, bit. Before I got married, right, I used to wear a ring on my wedding finger. Right. I used to wear a ring on my wedding finger, and then when I got married, I always, so I didn't have a tan line. But this was planned years. Wait a minute, you always? I always wore a ring on my wedding finger. So and? so once I, I got married, I had a wedding ring. Right. When I switched the wedding ring back to the ring I was wearing before, it, everything was status quo. Wait a minute, you're losing me. Do you get that? What are you saying? I, I get it. I just don't know how you got away with it. Well, okay, you always wore a ring on your wedding finger. Right. I always wore Your whole life. My <laughs> Okay. Well, for, <laughs> pretty much. At least for 10 years. <laughs> okay. So when I got married and I put a wedding ring on, right, you know, like women look at the tan line. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> The wedding ring tan line? Oh, yes. Well, you a light skin nigga anyway. <laughs> well, Lenny, if you that's really a, have this one. Is a, this is a light skin and a white you, guy story and a light skin nigga with a tan line on it. Your... Was, it'd be worse for you. Uh, we going to take a break of calls. Whatever you want. I think I want to still talk a little bit, but I'm going to take some calls, but, you know, we got to get the we gotta get the flow going and shit. We ain't talk shit in a long time, man. Mm -hmm. I really miss everybody who's listening out there, so don't get frustrated. We're going to take calls because we're on for three hours, so... I needed like an extra half hour, hour to talk some shit, get it out. You know, I know you guys, you know, I didn't want to start off with the real horror shit yet because I know you're probably listening with your mom. You're like, this dude's funny, man. He's, he's funny. And it's like, oh, my God, he's a dick. But don't worry about it. Most of your in-laws are old and finished anyway. They don't need help. They're done. We're trying to save 21 to 30-year-olds. That's the only hope. <laughs> They're done. Anybody 35, older? It's just, you, you probably stuck with her. You might have to kill her. You might have to throw over a cruise ship, give her some thallium. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bitch in a Russian spy hospital. <laughs> we trying to save the youngsters, man, so don't be selfish. You understand? We're going to take one break. We're going to come back. We're going to take calls right away. and then Or we might not. I might ramble a shit about something. But we plan on, so I want to talk to Joe. Don't go nowhere. Ruben, don't go nowhere. Fucking, uh... Whatever. Bye. We'll, 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 we'll be back in a second. Oh, yeah, Danny got to run and put us in break. <laughs> run in the other one. <laughs> he got, the Danny's all running around. See y'all in a minute. Call Patrice O'Neill on the Black Phillips Show, 866-WOW-1-WOW. You can call. I will, I'll listen to you talk about nothing. That's 866-WOW-1-WOW. It's Annie Uptime, bitch. I'm a pimp. Not like Drew Boogie's girl with all kind of dignity. Drew brought this white girl up who, you know, she looked like a, she looked like one of them white girls that yell rape when you say hello to her. I think so. Oh, God. She's not. We'll get you a reprimand for sexual harassment. Not for, out. For no reason. That would be the woman at that show that you did at Comics in the front row that you just let her have yeah. it the whole night. <laughs> that Puerto Rican lady. That shit was hilarious. She got up and left. <laughs> yeah, she should have. I'm sorry, we had some pizza. Listen, for those who uh, for those who uh, heard the show before, um, Kathleen Roll, my third uh, my third co-host, um, she wasn't officially let go. She just wasn't called. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say don't come back. It just uh, just ended up doing a show, and I guess she got the point. Um, Kathleen was a little crazy. I I didn't mind her. Being crazy, Kathleen was very smart, um, but she had this thing, and, and Dante's theory is that other women comics got to her mind, and um, it could be possible, but I don't think I think she's too crazy for that to have been the, the, the sole reason. She just got to this point where um, she, I think Kathleen takes meds, and I'm, and I'm just, I'm, I think, I think she's, and if she don't take meds, she should. She's that type of crazy bitch. And she just was out of control. Like, she just would yell and, and man, you remember her voice is just was, man, man. <laughs> and I thought it would just be, I'm I'm looking for a, a fee. I don't want to just be in here with just, because you need women's energy. You need women's disapproving, that's inappropriate kind of look. Uh, Boogie's girl has that look a little bit. She has a, she has that look like she's trying to maintain herself, but she has some things to say. But I am not one of these dumb bitches that you know. It's like, I am a progressive young woman who 
I don't put up with that shit that comes out of your mouth and blah, blah, blah. When Boogie came here with her, I was like, Boogie, you getting some pussy from this girl? And she looked at him. He, Boogie's like, yeah, because, you know. <laughs> we <laughs> tell the truth on this show. <laughs> like, Boogie's like, yeah. Wait, you did have sex with a book. No, not yet. Not yet, but you're trying to. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what she she was like, no. And Boogie's not like, yet. yeah, I'm trying Wait, to. Why do yeah. I get the total white girl voice? Because you're a total white girl, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she came in with the same voice. She came in with the same she voice you me, did. She asked me the question. In the Why am I a total white girl voice? <laughs> well, sure, I don't know. I don't change it. As soon as you fucking change yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But anyway... It, Kathleen just was, I can't even explain it. She just, the last show we did, man, she lost her skull about, some dude called in about having a disease. That she had herpes. And, she, and then like herpes or something, and she fucking lost it. It couldn't <laughs> get back, and she could not contain herself, which makes me think somebody shot a, um, shot a some, <laughs> shot a bad load or whatever. And, um, and we had to just, home. I just couldn't deal with her. She, and, and another thing, see, this, I want strong, smart, but rational chicks. Here's the thing. This, this is the same thing black people go through in terms of <clears throat> how we go through things in life. When a black person has their own point of view, if it's if it's if it's contrary to quote unquote all the you know black community, you're deemed a sellout. You de- you know people get in your mind. Oh, what the fuck you fucking with those white boys? Fucking with oh nigga nigga you what the fuck you talking about nigga? You, what you mean you know you don't think Kramer was fucked up? You know that's niggas do that shit to each other. And women, women do that to each other. Women, w- there, there are women out there who are thirsting for a, a point of view that's honest. You understand? It's like the thing about the Kramer situation. Just to, just to, you know, digress a little bit. The Kramer situation was like for me, like okay, I know it's out there. I see. I want white people to be as racist as they are, not because they're comfortable with me. Like I do, I do O and A show, and they. They know me, so they know they they do that shwiggy shit and they joke and they do the fucking thing. I'm sure Drew gets it a little with that bullshit. Um, we don't like it, but I'd rather that, right? That real shit than this fake. Okay, I gotta tolerate black people shit. Like, who are you? I don't. I'm better. You don't have to tolerate me, nigga. You ain't my oppressor. I'm better than you. And that's what I believe women should stop wanting guys to tolerate them. You should want to know that we don't like you. Like, you should want to thirst for why we don't like you around, why you make us sick, and we're sitting there and we have to deal with you all day long. Do do you want to be dealt with? Do you want empty power? You know what women's power is right now in this world? It's like um, tuna fish. If... If somebody took <laughs> if somebody took all the sharks in the ocean, right? Kidnapped them, pulled their teeth out, and then stuck them back in the ocean, right? And now the tuna are swimming around like, "We run the ocean, right, tuna?" And tuna like, "Yeah. We run the ocean cuz we tuna. Come on, tuna. Give me a tea, y'all. Give me a ooh, nah, cuz we run shit." And the sharks are like, mmm, 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 I ain't got no teeth, you know? And they think that they run the fucking ocean because the sharks are toothless. By the way, referring this to men, self-imposed toothlessness. We pull our own teeth out and swim around. And now tuna, here's what happens. Tuna starts swimming around, and now they're like, oh, this ocean stinks. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. The sharks are fucking, where's all the good sharks? Where are the sharks at? I don't know. I can't find me a good shark. You know why you're unhappy? Because tuna ain't supposed to run the ocean. (laughs) Tuna gets fucked up because tuna's supposed to be running from sharks (laughs) with teeth. That's what we're here for, to chase you around with teeth. And you go, oh my, even though in real, you know, it, it, this analogy actually stinks. Because <laughs> actually, actually, sharks actually chase to kill you, motherfuckers. But let's just take that out the equation. Let's say sharks fuck tuna. <laughs> let's say sharks was fucking tuna. And then, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you see what I'm trying to go with this. It's like there's a there's a hierarchy, man. It trickles down. It trickles down from general to lieutenant to blah 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 to whatever the fucking rank and file is. Women don't want to be the general, dude. When they're the general, they're unhappy. Cause women's happiness is based on a moment 
to moment thing. It's like, I, I, how come you don't buy me flowers? Now a guy, okay, who doesn't know how to guide a woman through, like, pure happiness, right? He goes, okay, now I'm going to buy her flowers. Now she gets flowers for a second, and then she goes. And women don't have that editing system that we do. We d Women don't edit themselves. They don't go, man, I just asked this guy to make me happy last month, and he tried to make me happy, and now... Like, I want more? They don't have that. They don't have that thing where they're trying to rationalize their fucking greed. They just go, we don't go to the movies. Then you take it to the movies. We don't go sailing at fucking in fucking Hamptons or something. Well, we'll go sailing in Hamptons. They, they're moment for moment. <clears throat> guys' happiness is very clearly drawn out. We know, see, guys live a life of emptiness that we, we want to fill with bullshit. Women want to fill their emptiness with meaningful shit, like, you know, relationships, <laughs> knowledge, um, <laughs> spiritual fucking growth. Guys want to fucking play the hottest Madden, Madden 2007, <laughs> nigga. Let me tell you something. Going out, right, and finding a Wii system is fulfillment to a guy. Like, I found it. I don't even want to play Nintendo. I'm walking around. I'm a 360 nigga. <laughs> I'm walking around going, you got the Wii system? And if a nigga go, we got one left, I go, oh, shit. <laughs> and for that moment, my void was filled. I found a motherfucking Wii. Hey, nigga, I ain't going to be playing this goofy shit. I don't even like it. I don't want to exercise when I'm doing my motherfucking gaming. But I fr if I find it, it's, it's a fulfillment for a minute. Men are trying to fill their voids on a, a, a superficial level. Mm. Women want growth. They, they feel this emptiness, and they don't know how to deal with it. That's where God, it has to trickle down to a woman. A guy's happiness has to trickle down to a woman so he can guide her to understand what happiness is. So, Because my girl, when we first started trying to get into this threesome thing, she gets that woman thought, but what is that? I don't know. When we went to Brazil, I messed around for the first second. I said, I said the, the girl bachi, right? Bachi, bachi is a is the word for smack. So the girl's like bachi to her, bachi, bachi. I said, sweetie, she wants you to slap in the face. <laughs> He's like, I can't slap another one in the face. That's just a <laughs> so I smacked the bow. Look at she wants you to slap in the face. She, she, so then she did a faggot smack. Like she pressed her hand against her cheek. <laughs> and the girl's like, ah. And my girl, but my girl's like, uh. By the end of the day, she had to learn. She was clogging bitches in the left eye by the end of the day. The girl's like, no, Bachi. But you boom, boom to the, to the side. You know? And because she has to be guided that it's going to be whatever she do, it's going to be okay. It has to trickle down from you, fellas, because what's okay to us, far dominates what's okay to them they live in this world of it's inappropriate this ain't right you shouldn't talk like this you shouldn't be like this women live in this world of you shouldn't you understand what i'm saying guys live in the world of you should yeah. so that's our thing we have to constantly be trickling down you should sweetie here's the thing okay i i know in your mind threesomes is bad but you gotta understand here's here's the shark's world here's the tuna's world in the shark's world i innately do not want to be with you for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Socially, I have to. I love you and I must be with you. Innately, on a nature level, we want different pussy. Understand that. Don't get mad at it. Don't get upset about it. Don't get like, this is bullshit. But you don't offer us anything off the bat that makes us want to be with you for the rest of your life. You're not taught how to be with a man for the rest of your life. You're taught how to force a guy to be in, in something with you by taking his teeth and making him go, all right, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do, and have guys stop finding what their happiness is. But I'm going to tell you, once men find their happiness, women are going to be happy. Once men learn how to control their own happiness, women are going to be happy because women's happiness, <clears throat> no one knows what the fuck it is. Like I said, my mother is just in the house, you know, what you doing? What's that over there? Uh oh, what's that? You know, I was looking at you. I was looking at you uh, today while I'm asleep. But I, I was looking at you. You're crying more, and some of it, you know, is is breaking away from the top of the wall. You know, uh, you know that, right? Like, moms, what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> knowing that my shit is coming off the walls? Leave shit on. You know, there's a scratch over there, by the. 
you know, you shouldn't leave the refrigerator open, because if you leave it open, it's like, well, you, what the, what's wrong with you? Because she don't, there's nothing there to keep her, to, she, it, being empty for a woman is too empty. It's, it's, it's can't. Being, be like having nothing to do, men revel in having nothing to do. We love not having nothing to do. But y'all, not only do you not want to admit that you're lonely and have nothing to do, but then you you fight us when we tell you you don't have nothing to do. And then try to give you something to do. Like, okay, to Drew's girl, this is a question. Do you want to fuck Drew right now on a, on a, on a, <laughs> A nature level, a nature level. Do you are you attracted enough to Drew to fuck him? Oh God! Just say it, man. Just Stop trying it. to figure it out. Just yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah. what the fuck is the problem? No, Let me no. tell you something. <laughs> the, the longer you wait, right, the more resentment he has towards you. Because of the bull. And here's what's going to happen. Bullshit. Here's where you fucking up. When a guy doesn't like you, right? His fuck game is way better. So the fact is that the longer you keep Drew waiting and the longer he's resenting you, the better he fucks you because it's a, it's a I don't like you fuck. It's not a I love you and I don't want to hurt your rib cage. I love you. I don't want to. <laughs> I want to how's, how's your hip? Because I, I think I thrust it too hard. I might have hurt your hip. He's going he's gonna to do it like, oh, I've been waiting for this, and it probably ain't even going to be worth it. That's not the situation, though. That's I'm not. I, it's, it's not a situation of she's making me wait or anything like that. What's going on? No, we, it's just that we just started talking, and you know. All you right, let me let me ask you a question. We're gonna get together. Wait a minute. Wait, together. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you can you fuck her right now? Yes. Could you have fucked her when you met her? Right when I met her, Drew. If you had a met her and she said, "Let's fuck now," would you? Could you have done it? Yes, he would have if that was the offer. Yes, if that was the so offer. So what was yes. that long, uncomfortable pause Be because was I'm, what? Because I'm thinking of the time I actually met her and then the time where she made it clear. M what made what clear? Made it clear that, that there was going to be some fucking going on. So why hasn't it? What the fuck what are you wait, talking wait, about, wait, nigga? What is, what is her making it clear? What do you mean she makes it clear? Because I didn't, I didn't rush to, 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 to do anything. But I that's didn't... what you want to do is rush. You know God no, means a chicken goes, I want to get to you. Wait, no, you want to get to know her? That's what Drew? I was, that's, no, we're that's, talking about a time span that's like this big. We yeah, started... that, that, that's, that's what's, what's the time span? An hour? If it's longer than an hour, then they're going to you. What, a week, yeah, but here's the deal. That's why there's other people in the picture, so that I don't have to be that hungry for it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know. I think it's, I do. It's, ahead, it's, not, it's not... I'm, I'm not in a hurry. There's other people in the picture, so that I don't have to be chasing after her. Okay, so what's the... What is to make the, it that serious. What's the nature of the situation right now? It's, it's, it's just uh, going to happen, and, you know... Yeah. Drew, I'm taking a call because I want to bash him in there with this fucking mic. <laughs> we're gonna get back to your it's horse gonna, shit. It's gonna happen very, very quickly. Hey, Joe, we're gonna talk to Joe. Sorry, dude, keep you holding so long. Joe in Phoenix. Joe, what's yeah, up, what's man? Up, Patrice? How are you, sir? How you doing? Good. Thanks Not for calling. Too bad. All right. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for answering. Hey, question for you. I got this problem, right? Like, all too many times it happens to me, I get stuck in the friend zone, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. Hmm, very interesting. You know I mean? sound like Drew Boogie. Go ahead. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you tell yourself the whore. Did you, wait a minute. First of all, did you hear Drew Boogie for a second? Now, Drew's my nigga, man, but it's like, e immediately, dude, you got to, this is what we do. This is what guys do. We filter. Keep, keep your thought, Joe. We filter mm -hmm. our, our nature. That's what we do. That's exactly what we, every day a guy filters what we are. Like, okay, in, for instance... A girl trying to press you. Once you feel something in your gut, you got to act on it some kind of way. Yeah. A girl told me, look, I, I, we talk for a couple of days, okay? We have to look at what's important to each other, okay? What's important to me, what's important to a woman. <clears throat> she goes, for two days, I'm like, she's talking to me on the phone, and I'm like, hey, look, um, you know, hey, man, you know, let's, why don't you come on by? Let's do a little something. She goes, I don't, I don't like to have casual sex. Oh, what? <laughs> So, okay, immediately your man filter goes, all right, all right, I have to deal with this. And, but I go to her because in my gut, this pops out of my head. Well, bitch, but you can have casual, casual conversations. conversations. Right. You can talk to me for fucking two days and take from <laughs> me what's important to me. See, you got to understand, you're better 
than any vagina out there. You understand? So if a woman yeah. is going to force you to be her friend, she better fucking well be a great friend. She better be as good of a friend as your boy that you want to hang out with. Mm -hmm. That's not the situation here. She is not. She is not a, a, a friend in that sort of sense. She's not. She's not a friend. What it is is, uh, I had the opportunities, but since I've had others on the side, and I'm not really that hungry, I didn't act on the opportunities okay, Drew, when I should have. So that, me, that, it was my bad, not but, hers. But it's not. Wait a minute, though. We're not understanding something. Is here's the thing. I. I, I I want to go, okay, cool, but I, I'm missing something. Well, it might be... Sorry, and, and, Joe, keep and, and, on the line, dude. We're going to fix you. It might be this, because, I, like, because I'm older, sometimes I run into a chick, and I don't, I'm not thinking, let me bag this up. I want to okay, so qualify here's a her. Here's the difference between me and you, and I guess me and Drew Boogie. Mm -hmm. I have yet to meet a girl who wasn't ugly and a lesbian that I wanted to be friends with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that if you're not in my, if you're in my life, you're probably in my yeah, life to have okay. sex, and I want that to happen pretty fast. I, I, I don't, I don't have the patience. I have, I have to disagree with that, because I've seen you in situations where you had no real, no real uh, sexual interest, mm -hmm. and you, I've seen you beat a bitch in the, in the head for f an hour. For free. For no reason. For free, but Just, that's... But that's but that's not that's just to my thing is that's why I do this radio show, cause I want just put it this way if a nigga meet my girl we break up and a nigga meet my girl and she find out that she was with me she should give him the phone and he should call me and go hey man thank you thanks man cause you got your so you got man I got a good soldier cause you you understand so if you got some girl ain't got no guidance right. You being selfish. If you make it, if I gotta meet your girl and she's talking to me in the middle of the street, like what I do, I like when girls challenge me. I like to give them options. Right. right. You understand? Options. But it, but it doesn't have to be a, a sexual situation. And I've seen that with you. I've seen you. But we're not talking. It's two different situations. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's because you know you 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 have when you have your options. You're not fucking every night of the week somebody that, well, not me anyway. I'm not fucking somebody every night of the week. I like to spread it out a little bit so I don't, so I don't have to be so hungry all the time. Wrong with There's nothing wrong with me. Something wrong with Nah. All that DJing and fuck your balls up? No. This nigga fucks the hole in his albums and shit. He's fucking CDs now. What's I'm, going on? I'm just chilling, so I can spread shit out. So it doesn't all that always have to happen. I'm 34. It doesn't have to happen with me right away. I'm chilling. We're, we're getting confused. But the, but I, know, I know because he's answering something that I really don't feel, and I'm not. I guess I'm right, not right, saying right, it correctly. Right. I don't. I'm not saying you have to fuck her. What I'm saying is, I just want to make sure it wasn't can't fucking. Like, no, no, I don't mind no, not fucking. No, I just don't like no, can't. Don't fucking. tell me what I, I can't. Listen, what right? Don't you don't know. lay down the fuck rules. Cause who are you? No, right. no, 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 no. Here, here's the deal. The 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 the. It's not the. It. I, I did not give up the time that you think I might have given up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a friend situation where I got stuck in the friend zone. It, okay. It, it, we have not spent that kind of time together, right. so it's not it's not like that. All right, go ahead, Joe. I'm sorry. All right, all right, I feel you. All right, I'm going to find out some more about what's going on with this boy. Because <laughs> I, I don't think Danny's comfortable either. I, <laughs> I'm fine. I don't, you understand what's going on? Yeah, I think what Drew is saying is that he... There hasn't been a whole hell of a lot of of hanging out time mm -hmm. to 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 get to that point of fucking like this is probably if I had to guess I'd probably say this is probably like your third time hanging out. Yeah, but we didn't really hang out together. Right, that's what I'm saying. You maybe you spent some time. I get together. it. Okay, so, I, all right. I never got really it's, it's, we've seen each other at at. at, at I get it. At it's, get this is the seed of trying to get to where that yeah. is, and you getting to know. The, I I understand. Okay, I get it. I get it now. All right. All right, I do get it. You just didn't. You yeah. sound like he was sounding intelligent. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was. sounding like a sneaky like, motherfucker that wasn't trying to fuck up some <laughs> pussy for a second. No, no, no. no. See, the, the only reason she's here is because she's a fan of the show. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought her here. They, you know, it's it. Yeah, but Drew, this is this is also a one-on-one -on -one situation where I guess from what you're saying. It wasn't a one-on-one -on -one situation before, I guess. It was yeah, we, we haven't had the one-on-one. So one -on -one. This, right, this is, okay. this, this is right. kind of like okay. No time has been spent yet. Okay, I'm right. sorry. So okay, all right. This is all like right. the first time all that y'all right. have right. a, a right. person. No, and as soon one as time is... Step. Where'd Joe go? He hung up on me? I'm sorry, Joe. As soon as, soon as time gets to... You still to, there? What's, hold on. Let's just find out what's going on. I'm sorry, Joe. Go ahead, man. Friend zone. Friend zone. 
All right, well, yeah, like, here's the thing. Like, we've been friends for, like, uh, I don't know, like, about a couple of years now. Yeah. Wait a minute, uh, question, question, yeah. question. What's that? What's that? Has she, have you been, has she been your friend, but you've been wanting to fuck her for this one? <laughs> not, not even like that. Like, we've just been more like so a you're, friend you're, for a while. So you're truly friends. But that's the We're first thing we have now. to figure out. You're truly, you're truly friends now. Yeah, well, like, we... We hung out with the same group of people, you know what I mean? Oh, sorry, Drew Booker. Like, okay. all, all of a sudden, over the course of time, like, we started to get a little bit closer and closer, and it gets to the point now, like, where if we go out to the bar, like, it doesn't matter, like, if she's talking to somebody, she's immediately over with me, she sit in my lap, she'll buy me drinks, she'll do whatever, you know, whatever's clever, but, like, all of a sudden, it just gets to this point, like, later on in the night, where, like, we're sitting at a friend's house on the couch, and, like, all of a sudden, like, I'll, like, put my hand in her thigh, and I can just instantly tell I'm creeping the shit out of her. You know what I mean? So, this is, let me tell you something. Here, here, here's Supposed what you're doing. I'm going I'm to give you a little bit of medicine, Joe, and it's not going to taste yeah. good. You're a fucking right. phony. Okay? <laughs> you Listen to me, Joe. I, can, I can't even yeah. mince words. You're, you're being a phony. You're hoping to friendship your way into some pussy or two to get her to give you some sad, I shouldn't have did this pussy, but she, let me tell you something, if she creeped out, she don't like you, okay? She don't like you, she don't find you attractive, she, she's, let me tell you what she's doing, she's using yeah. you, and I'm going to tell you what women use us for, our time, yeah. she, you're her little time That's boy, the... you're time hoe, you're a fucking, <laughs> you're a, you're a space hoe, a time hoe, a movie watching hoe, a help her lift her Put fucking up bags upstairs hoe, a come here and kill this mouse hoe, That's right. a, 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 oh my god, the other guys I'm fucking, I, they, they treat me like shit hoe. You are her hoe, buddy boy. You understand? Just yeah. like if we fuck yeah. a girl and go, hey, listen, um, I'm going to fuck you, but go to the movies with somebody else. Reverse it. Women go, I'm going to go to the movies with you and fuck somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? You are yeah. a fucking clown to her, Joe. <laughs> Listen to me, dude. This is this is medicine. Take a, a, a yeah. sip. I don't want to be fucking terrible to you. I'm not. But you can't. It, mincing words, man, ain't going to help. You are a loser to her. And you can't get out of that. You're driving five cars behind her. She knows it. She knows you can control her because you, you probably look at her with that I love you look. You done tried everything in the book, motherfucker. Be, be careful with that. Uh, she knows that she can control him. She, that's what the fuck I'm saying. He sits there and well, looks at her. Me. I, I, she does, she, motherfucker. She's doing it right now. <laughs> what you, what no, you no, calling no. this show? Joe, jo, listen to me. Sh just stop. Two years. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Joe. Listen to me. Because I don't. This is the thing yeah. with guys. This is what This is what kills us all the time. We have an ego, man. We have ego, and that's what it is. Let me tell you, the, don't ever ask the the fucking W's. I told my girl this, man. She said she was talking about if she left me, would I get hurt? And I would get hurt, but I'm going to tell you what I would do. I would go, and I would fill my void with as many, as many women as it took to fill up the space that she left. Let me tell you, because I would not, if she fucked another guy, I am not asking why. Why are you do that? What? What? What happened? What I do? Who is it? Where was it? What? Who? When? Why? What? How? Which is not a W, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's all H words and shit. And it's in the W category. It's the W category, dude. It's ego, man. That's what men. We have to stop that shit. That's why threesomes are healthy because it helps you. And sometimes swapping is healthy because it helps you to see your woman and get over that fucking that that weird that 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 thing that rips your gut apart. If you think about another guy fucking your girl, if you swap and you watch a guy mash your girl, it helps you to maintain that status where okay, I'm stronger than the body, nigga. Oh, you it's know niggas mind. can't handle that. They and, got, they, you got to practice. You have you to have you to have to, go to get to that point to a to a place where that's what you do, and you go okay, I can picture. So if I walk in on my girl when she got keys to my house, I don't feel like an idiot. I go okay, ho, is that how it is? Well, let me tell you something. You giving your pussy away means nothing. Cause you can, cause you gotta understand. I'm better than that. I'm about to go give my time to another bitch. So thank you for doing that for me. Thank you for cheating on me so I can give my time away. 
You understand? Because cause women will take my time, but they're not going to take my body like a guy will take your body. It was a useless fuck. So basically, you don't have to go find and hopefully luck your way up into another nigga like me that gives you the keys to his house. You fucking goofy hoe. You goofy. You understand? Dude, Joe, cancel her yeah, contract right. because you're not her friend. You're her time hoe. You're not her buddy. Yeah. Uh, don't forget. I'm telling you, get rid of her. It's not going to happen. Do you understand, you understand what I'm saying? Stop letting us sit yeah, up yeah, in yeah. your lap. Stop hanging out with us. Stop watching TV. She's using you to make other guys want her. And if she's going she gonna to try to make you feel guilty with the, the average bullshit. Are we friends? Like, with, we aren't we friends? Are you telling oh, me? Yeah. that? And then here's what you say to all her questions. Mm, yeah, yeah, I got to go. You're saying that you, you're going to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm getting out of here. I know that maybe that sounds a little empty or sounds a little shallow. shallow but yeah. you know, bitch, I am shallow. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And, and, you, and you leave her and you suck it up. And you cry, you get in the fetal position, and cry about all that pussy that you had hoped to get. And that you were convinced yourself you was in love to, to deal with her bullshit. You're not in love, you're in lust, and you're in ego. And she's treating you like garbage. So get rid of her, Joe. All right, take care. Uh, Dave in Idaho. <laughs> oh, wrong Dave. Which one is it? Sorry. <laughs> the dude that rather see his wife fuck other men. Hello? What's his name, Dave? Dave? Hello, hey. Dave, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? Patrice, man, you rock, buddy. Thank you, sir. I, I enjoy your show very much. Hey, Thank well, you, man. here's the problem. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I'm sitting here in my car driving home next to my wife. Uh, she's a little drunk. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I get off on seeing her with another man. And, and I'm not gay, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I just same wait so wait a minute just 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 to take you off. It's the same concept as porno. We watch porno and watch another guy smash. Another matter of fact, watch a strange guy smash a strange woman, which even for some reason is extra creepier. <laughs> and, That's exactly it. No, you nailed it. I, yeah. I if I could put her in a porno, there you go. That would be my how's, ultimate. How's thing. your how's what size is your dick? And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You got a you got a monster? No. <laughs> Uh, six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half size. That's bordering on comfort. I have a comfortable size. I have one of those dicks. Those um, comfortable. those comfortable. Bordering that, on comfortable. Yeah, that that, that that the kind of dick that makes a girl take a deep breath of like relief. <laughs> 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 like I could be dildo on her. And what it is is, dude, you just wanna. I, I do that all the time when I'm when I'm like fucking my girl. I go, man, I wish. Yeah, I wish I had a, a bigger monster. dick just to just to really punish her like I want to. And oh sure, just to, just to slam it. Yeah, in you just want to see feeling. somebody, and and you live vicariously. This is why Asian porn. I watch I watch Asian porno. Asian porn is fucking phenomenal porn. But the only thing that fucks it up is that Asian guys got small dicks, man. And <laughs> and that, I'm not being gay. It's just that we want to watch a monstrosity kill it. Like if a guy makes a woman like I, like Asian porn, I watched this one dude, uh, this two, these two girls. It was unbelievable because I'm getting to that point now where sexy shit don't turn me on no more. Like girls being, oh sexy. Man, I, I like filthy. girls being um, as a matter of fact with their sexuality. And I watched these two girls squirt each other with titty milk. These two Asian girls, and they were just squirting each other, and they weren't going, oh yeah, titty milk. They were going, oh, they would taste it and go. Mm, delicious. Oh. And I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. shit. It wasn't even sexy. It was just like, oh, squirt, get blah, blah, blah. so it's like right now, when I if if Asian porno, if the guys were packing, that would be the only porn I had. But that's the thing. A six and a half is not a punishing dick. It's just like, ugh. so you what you want to do is punish your wife with a with just like, look, I don't want to eat pussy. I don't want to use dildos. I don't want to use. I don't even want to do. Sometimes when I do a little threesome, I'd be so mad because I could. I wish I could pull out one of those dicks you have to unroll. You know, like it <laughs> just one of those dicks that's when it's soft, it has it. It, it, it still sticks dirt. out. It just one of them. And in and, and a six and a half, that's what it is, dude. It's just that you want to just see that raw mashing. You know, and, and your wife probably loves you and goes, it doesn't matter. You, do you ever talk to her about the, the size of your dick like you want a bigger one? You know, I've never brought that up. But she, uh, you know, she she is such a good woman. Uh, she always tells me what a big one it is. And that's my girl, too. But I know that <laughs> I don't reach the more. back. <laughs> you don't reach I don't get you know, I don't hit the little ball in the back of the pussy. I just don't. 
Unless it's unless she has a weird <laughs> she has a small pussy. I'm lucky she's a small girl. Oh, she's not too big. Yeah, you're not. not you're not. Big. Hey, look, dude, Dave, you're not. You're not. Don't ever think you're weird for exploring what what turns you on, dude. Let me tell you, you have a freedom in your mind that a lot of guys don't know how to have, which is to be able to think about what to to know how. See, this is what the problem a lot of guys have. Like my girl was was an ex ho. She could be still one. She could be still doing what she's doing. And, uh, but the thing is, she had a history that I know about. I know a couple of guys that got my girl before I was with her. You understand? And yeah. it's a it's a free thing where you can look at a woman's sexuality and 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 divide it from who she is as a woman, man. Like she's a good girl, even if she was the fuck another guy. She's still a good girl. Bitch wash the dishes. She clean up the bathroom. Mm. You know, she'll come in. She'll take. She'll do anything I tell her to do. And if she, if I didn't separate like her body from who she is as like a, as a person, you know, I wouldn't be able to be with her. So I'm gonna tell you, Dave. People like you. You you are you're not weird, dude. You are what the world should be. You understand what I'm saying? You are what the world should be. You don't have no ego, dude. You're doing the right thing. So you should take your drunk wife. And uh, go to, what's the black part of Idaho? <laughs> Where's Frederick Douglass Boulevard in Idaho? And get yourself so, some so young damn. things. Some, is, she a good looking, is she a good looking girl? Oh, yeah. You should get some young thug, some 50 cent motherfucker to smash her. <laughs> Pay him a couple dollars. I'm going to tell you, thugs are very, very fucking loyal. They, they, he won't try to rob you. He'll go, cool, man, really? let's go, son. Chill out, give him some weed, and say, fuck my wife. He'll look around for a second like, oh, Wait, shit. Hold on, for real? Nigga, what, you a cop? No, I just... And you explain <laughs> him to... You explain to him the philosophy behind the, of why you want to see somebody smash your wife. And do it. You ain't no weirdo. Thanks, Dave. See you later. Hey, we're going to take one more break. Or, wait, how many breaks we take? A few, right? Whatever. We're going to take another break. We'll see you in a minute. We're going to get to... Who's the next dude we're going to get to here? <laughs> oh, Daryl. I like Daryl in Florida. We're getting to you next, Daryl. So uh, take care. But everybody who's on the line, we'll get to you, man. We got two more hours to go. See you later. On the Black Phillips Show, Patrice O'Neill gets to the bottom of those tough relationship issues. Who had the herpes? It's Black Phillip with Patrice O'Neill. That's a dichotomy for all man shit, is that the word bitch represents something that's so repugnant to women, but the fact is... I choose to say it or choose not to. That's the amount of respect that you earn from me. It's not the amount of respect that you automatically are entitled to. You're not entitled to the door being open. You're not entitled to me laying my good coat on a puddle. You're not entitled to me wrestling an alligator to save your life. It's desire. That's all. That's what the word bitch is, just to let you know, hey, bitch. And you go, don't be calling me no bitch. And you go, okay, bitch. Now what? What's option two? That's all I want to say. I want to give you options to make me not want to call you a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Do you love your mother? I love my mother to death. You understand? But that has nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Like I said one time, that's my mother. Like, my mother used to be somebody's bitch. He was my, you know, my mother had boyfriends. And they had to deal with my mother's bullshit. My mother knows what she used to do to guys sometimes. She would tell me. She would fuck with their manhood. She made my girl, my sister's father throw a fan at her. She told me that story. Wow. Made him so, tussed his manhood so much, threw a fucking fan at her. Because she boiled him down to what he had over her, which is manness, physicality. And that's what I'm trying to help do is to not have to ever c conquer your woman with physicality, man. You have to try to conquer them with logic. And make them look at you like, you know what, I'm going to follow this guy because he knows where he's going. You know what I'm saying? But when a woman don't respect you, they test your manhood constantly, dude. It's, it wears you out. But I'm going to tell you what, soldier. If, 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 if It's just like fighting a terrorist, man. You're going to stop? You're going to stop? You're going to take a break? They don't take a break. You understand? They, they out there trying to figure out how to kill us with orange juice and fucking Gatorade <laughs> and lotion. And they, they don't take a break. And that's what women are. They are fucking insurgents. <laughs> Making improvised explosive devices, and and the day you go, I don't feel like checking Boom. for mine. I'm tired. Bah! Fingerless motherfucker. You understand? Yes. You fingerless nigga. You are. <laughs> you're sitting there Never like stop. you can't be tired. You're dealing with the the worst terrorists there are. Women. 
they're brutal. And here's what makes them the brutalist is that they don't do it maliciously. You organic. understand? It's organic. It's an organic fucking response. It, it, it's, it's it's like it's instinct. It's instinct. Thank yeah. you. It's like it's like if you have a a, a, a pet a pet a rattlesnake. That's what you got to always know that it's going to bite you. You be like, damn, this, don't this motherfucker know I feed it every day? I got fish that don't give a fuck about me except for I, I feed them. That's when they come to the glass. And then when I go to the glass and tap the glass or I do something like I, I'm trying to have some bonding with them, they swim away like I'm any other nigga. <laughs> and they'll take food from anybody. That's what, look, no man, loyalty. That, that's what I'm saying, man. Women do things instinctively. I'm not saying that they're disloyal, but they do things with this instinctive level, and they bash you down, and it's not it's not because they want to. And that's the thing. It's like, going back to the terrorist thing, it's like you are fighting somebody with an ideal, an ideolo ideology, a fucking uh, 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 a philosophy about uh, uh, killing you. And all you doing is going to work. I'm the TSA guy at the airport. All I want to do is go to work and check for for the, for the for the belt buckle and the chain and the watch and the, and take your cell phone out the pocket. That's all I want to do. And I'm trying to fight that ethic versus uh, it's not even an ethic. A it's belief. just I'm going, a it's, belief it's, system. I am fighting somebody with a belief system. You, this is what I'm saying, fellas. You got to get a belief system in, into your stick happiness. With it and stick with it. And, and, and make it unconscious. Make it uh, an unconscious, natural thing. That's when women will start to get the point where if they start doing their shit. Don't, you don't think, man. Let me tell you something, man. I, I'm getting going again. Because I've been with my girl and not getting no other pussy and, and, and being decent and this, that, and the third. And it takes away your fangs. I start pulling my fang out. Uh, you know, I'm going to take rusty. it out. I don't need to. Like, I start saying, damn, I'm not even mad no more. I'm like, honey, get me. He was over my crib. <laughs> my, me, my man, uh, uh, him, David. and Gavin. Two big niggas and my girl and, and me. And we chilling in my, in my house made for niggas. And my girl's like, yeah, you guys need water and... I'm like, yeah, she's bringing out everybody some water. We eating steaks, and she's upstairs not bugging me. And I'm sitting there and going, we're like, when are you going to get rid of this bitch? <laughs> Boy, you got yourself a good woman. When is this bitch going to get out of here so we can have an orgy, nigga? I want to fuck on top of this television. And I'm sitting there like, hey, fellas, ain't she a great girl? <laughs> Don't fuck about that. But it take it does fuck with you, man, when the man. girl relentlessly will not let you. She just will love you till you go. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the sound once you say I'm going to be in love I love my girl but dude I got to stay on her man I got to watch her every second of the day cause she will do something unconscious until I'm an unattractive motherfucker man the, her attractiveness to me is that I'm a she, I'm it's a your pimp strength. it's your strength that makes you attractive as soon as you change it's it I out logic her man she can't out logic there's been times she goes forget it I just give up cause all you're gonna do this is her all I'm gonna do when we argue so I'm is logic. turn it around so that she feels wrong that's how. That's what she think now. All you're gonna do is make me feel like I'm wrong, that's which is that's just second as degree dumb as I've ever though. heard. That's second degree black belt, though. But, but she just gave up, but in a in a tricky way. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what she did one day when I was feeling soft. She goes like this. She says some shit. I forgot what she said. She said, um, yeah, something, something. It was something that I should have checked her on and I didn't. And then I said, uh oh, wait a minute. Let me check her. Right? What'd you say, bitch? Did you just say? And then she goes, I thought you'd go, let me get away with that shit. <laughs> she karate kicked me, and I didn't know, and she thought that shit hit me and knocked me out. And she, she was now looking forward to the next level mm -hmm. of taking my shit so that she can feel comfortable, dude. She hates me, but she loves me, <laughs> but she loves hating me, dude. Does that make sense? Yes, she it loves does. the passion that her hatred for me has. It gives her passion. Let me tell you something. I tell my girl, if you ever in your life yell at another guy, you might as well go with him. If you, if some guy you don't know evokes passion in you, that you yelling and screaming and you hate some other fucking dude, that, that, let me tell you, women's hatred is just like love. It's the same thing as passion. If a girl has indifference towards you, like if a chick, if girls aren't getting mad at me, right, for saying what I'm saying, this is a useless show. 
<clears throat> you gotta have them. If they sit there and go and dismiss me, like, okay, turn from this. This guy's just corny. Not turn from this, fuck him, or turn from this, what is he talking about? But turn, like, boring, and really believe that? That's a chick that's lost. She's like, fuck you. When your girl gets like that, and some guy in the streets can evoke, like, Passion. anger in my girl? Nigga, you know what I put my girl through to make her angry? Nigga, anger, and she loves me, so you don't give out your emotions frivolously, motherfucker. You give your emotions, you be selective. You don't be hating nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm telling you, it's constant. It never stops, dude. I'm telling y'all, fellas, it never stops. You can't rest. Because they pretend that what they're doing is not malicious, and it's not. It's just nature and so we have to be diligent and purposeful to combat their their fucking belief system you have to be on guard the most the most you could hope for is a couple of months rest where she's and, not trying to get her belt in between to... belts <laughs> where she calls you master most, yes master but believe me you're gonna get challenged like my I'm, I, you know i'm diabetic man right i'm I, my, i'm trying to get my health right and that is a thing that keeps her in control like the fact that she loves me enough to make me take care of my health so take your pills did you take your pills it's it's because i can't go bitch stop caring about my health mind your motherfucking business i'll have a heart attack if i feel like it ho that don't make no sense for me to do that but that that's a thing that keeps her in this state of like that's my way to find a way to Control. To say something that that he has to listen to, and 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 I can gain some type of command, and I look at her to let her know that's what she's doing, so that she can go look. I love you. Just please take you know like where it's like all right. It, it, it gives me a desire beyond myself because it's hard for yourself sometimes to take care of yourself. So you know it's like men are like have this ego like even like with the mother thing. I you know I don't want to make my mom look like a bad person, but if she goes. She she says to me, do something, and it's right. I don't want to just say no because she's telling me. You know what I mean? Sometimes you do, but sometimes you, as a man, you go, get the, get out of here, man. I, I, I handle everything. But sometimes you go, okay, I'll, I'll release myself as long as you don't get abusive, which is what happens to women. They become abusive as soon as they get a, a in. As soon as you give them an inch. They take a mile. They can't help it. But you can't be mad about it. You can't hit them. You can't choke them. You can't yell at them. You have to be diligent till they get the option in their head of, okay, they have to think first. Okay, the shit, am I getting ready to do some righteous shit or am I getting ready to do some drama shit just to get his attention? Because it's not worth what's going to happen. Because if I need to talk to my girl for an hour, I talk to her for five Till she's like, <laughs> I'm going to die listening to this nigga. She can't out-argue me. I'm going to out, I'm gonna find a way. Because two things. One, I feel like I'm right. Two, I'm a guy, and we're competitive. I'm not going to lose to you as a girl. Are you think I'm going to let you out-argue me? Never. I will, I, will, I will do anything to make your point stupid. The sun shines. No, it don't, bitch. <laughs> what are you looking at? Are you crazy? It doesn't shine. You know, it's just you, you've got to be like that, dude. Sometimes, like if you're raising a child, sometimes eight, and you know, man, sometimes yeah. eight out of the ten, you might be right eight times and two times, you are horribly wrong. But it it's worth it to be right the eight times, yeah. and then sneak in that you were wrong the other two by buying them a goofy doll or. You know, give him a uh, ice cream sandwich. Hey, sorry, that's just sorry. But the eight times you need it, you need that shit, man. I'm telling you, uh, who? What's the dude? Um, there's a dude from Florida, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl, Daryl from Florida. Daryl, what's up, man? How's it going, Patrice? How are you, sir? Are you black just, or white? A white Daryl? Yeah, I'm a white Daryl. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> You got a hard time. <laughs> Fuck you up in clan country with a name like Daryl. Change your name to Mickey or so. What's up, man? Uh, I just had a follow up to Joe from Phoenix question. Uh, is there any way to 
to get out of the friend zone with a chick other than drop the bitch. So basically, your your what is your what is your uh 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 what, what are you trying to do? What do you want to do? What's your ultimate goal? You want to get rid of goal. her or you want to sleep with her? Let's sleep with her. Toss the toss the the chessboard in the air. You losing? You, it's you, almost you checkmate. You, do, you have that take your ball. Here's the thing, I, and I agree with you. We we argue about this a lot. Is a is Dante look, goes look, take your ball and go. Like if the game's getting hardcore, take it and go. I say like this, man. I I say you 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 don't play. You don't even play. You don't even let nobody you know you have a ball. Once you, all right. Because I've been like this before. I've been in the friend zone. It's First of all, it's pathetic. Second of all, you're starting off two cars behind. Say you're driving down a one-way street, and, 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 and it's a small one-way street. And once you got two cars behind, man, I'm telling you what happens is as you're slowing down and she's moving ahead, you could get three cars behind because a lot of times somebody pulls out in front of the you and you got now you three cars behind you know emotionally and let me tell you man about this is what I mean about the abuse thing Daryl what women are gonna do is they it's like children I'm telling you is that once they they don't know what satisfies them we were talking about that earlier yeah. they they don't know what's satisfying to them. So the abuse they give you that works when they when she knows that you are going to be the guy that hangs around and is going to be unhappy about not getting the pussy but still hang around. She does. It's it's like it's like a when you do comedy, okay. And I, I've been doing comedy a long time. Let me tell you something about my theory on bombing, okay. When you bomb, you don't try to pull out of it by making the crowd happier trying harder you get out of it by making it worse you just you just take two grenades and you toss them into the ground and you kill everybody because what you don't want is to give the audience the power to know that they can affect you because they will not do what you think humans do which is go oh he's having a bad time let's help him through this they go ooh I get to take my foot and run it on his neck and and, and control him and have him beg for mercy <laughs> and they will fucking let you flail so what you do is go I control my destiny here's what you gotta do and I'm gonna tell you you started off backwards there's no way to turn that around except for, like Dante said, take the chessboard and throw it in the air and start all over. I don't know with her, but you cannot start behind, dude. You cannot. Let me tell you something. You can't play a basketball game and spot the, the opponent 20 points. You can't do that. That's what women want you to do. They not only want you to say what's not important to you, but they're going to tell you what's important to them, dude. And what this does, and this is the other dude, Joe, it makes them, it make, it doesn't make them go, I want him. It makes them go, yeah. I'm going to control this guy because he's a pussy, and I want this type of thing in my life. Who's gonna hey, who's gonna come in and, and, and plug the VCR up or At, plug the DVD what? player up in those What's all that? those holes in the back of the um the LCDs <laughs> now? Who's gonna come and move her refrigerator so that she can sweep it in the back of it? Who gonna do that? You asshole! <laughs> <laughs> you understand, Daryl? You What what is Daryl, what are you doing for her? Like if you had to list the things that you are you doing those things? Are you are you of moving the refrigerator and this? Uh, are you well, talking no, to her? No, no, no. It, it used to be where she would call up and I, I'd be like uh, chilling with the, with some friends and she'd be like, "Hey, let's meet up," and I'd go. But now I've moved away, and uh, I come back very seldomly. And uh, she called me up this past weekend, and she's like, uh, "You know, I can't do anything." And then she calls me up later that night, and she's like, oh, yeah, I can go out. But I said, you know, I'm chilling with some friends. I can't go. And uh, then I'm like, let's have dinner. And she's like, all right. So she calls me the next day. She's like, I can't have dinner. And I just don't I don't return the phone calls. I, I'm not going to play. You, you got to. Here's, here's the first thing. You Wait a minute, though. But he I has, know what the problem is. You know what, is. though? He, here's what happened. He comes back as the same guy after. That's after, that's you know right. that's what's yeah. a, dude. You you, you know you you're not far from actually kind of getting a because she she felt 
the pressure of you not and then being you let there. Up. You let up. That's but right. but when you came around, you you you. Here's what you need to mix it with. You Ready? you 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 came back where you left off. But here's what well, you, here's you know, so when I when I left, I'd go whenever she called. I'd be like she'd be like let's hang out. I'd be like all right, no matter what I was doing. But this time it was. You know, she called me up like, "Hey, let's go have a have a pint or whatever," and I was like, "You know, I can. I'm chilling with friends. I'm not going to meet you." So well, it's not. I don't think. No, it's no, that's one thing. But I'm not going. That's one thing. But when you talk to her, you're probably still the same guy. You're probably, you know, still being like a, a friend type guy to her instead of yeah. instead of instead of being the jerk that you need to be. You have to be a totally different person once you come back. Wait, to wait, her. wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. She's yeah. never gonna sleep with him. Probably not. No, no. she will. I've got. But no, yeah. she's not gonna. You got she Vaughn. Do. You got Vaughn. She you. will sleep with you. But here's the. This is the fucking problem you're having, dude. Yeah. This is the problem you're having. Listen, she she felt the press because you said he said he moved away. She felt yeah, the, she felt the pressure. Now that helped you because I already know if you were staying around her, you still be her little sweet thing. You should yeah. still have you bent over a chair. But the fact yep. that you left helped you a lot. She felt the pressure of you not being there. But here's the issue that you have to understand: <laughs> you have to now be willing to take a L mm. because this is the thing before you didn't know where you stood now you know where you stand she cares about you a little bit but you have to let her know see this is the thing you have to explain to her what her vagina means to you you have to mm -hmm. explain that your vagina means nothing and it means everything now, what that means is this man is that the vagina is like okay if you go to eat dinner right and somebody yeah. gives you a fork is that is that a special thing that the guy gives you a fork to eat your meal with? It's not special, for the course. but it's important and it's essential. You understand what I'm saying? You got to let a woman know her pussy's a fork. You got to let her know that, that yes, sweetie, I need to eat with it. It's, it's important, but it ain't special to me. It don't mean what you think it means. What it does is makes me like you now. It ma it consummates what you mean to me. It's 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 like a wheels on a car. You can't drive a car without wheels. But you don't look at wheels and go, these are special. You go, I need the wheels, nigga. I gotta drive my car. But you don't go, these wheels are my. I love these wheels. It's like you gotta let her know, dude, that holding you hostage. Like I said, they're terrorists. She's holding yeah. you hostage with the idea of pussy. There's two things you got to do, dude. You got to give her some medicine. You understand? Medicine in the form of honesty. Women hate honesty. It's like it's like eating the worst castor oil in the world for her. You go, look, I've been wanting to fuck you for a long time, man. This I told my girl this shit. Because she we were friends. We were really friends. And I told her we were friends. I said, look, I should be trying to fuck you. But you know what? You're such a fucking loser. Now, I'm going to be your friend because you need a friend. And I would give all kind of honesty. She'd be crying. <laughs> and I'd be like, what you crying for? There's no, did, who, did no one ever talk to you about you, how fucked up you are? So she started treating me like a guy that was being her friend just to fuck her. I said, I don't need to be your friend to fuck you. You think I am? I'm better than you. And so I stopped fucking with her. She come back and go, I miss you. I miss you. I said, listen, I have to tongue kiss you because since you treated me like a nigga that was trying to fuck you anyway, I need to know what it's like. So I kissed her, and it was bells and oh, for her. For me, I'm like, I just tongue kissed you. But it, it got special for her. Here's what you got to tell her. You got to be willing to take a L, Daryl, a loss, nigga. You got to tell her, look, man, you've been treating me like this duck for a long time. I'm going to tell you something. My friendship is my love. Like, my love, my friendship, my body, my time, it's, it's all the same to me. My time, my body, everything. You, you've been abusing me. You've been using my time. You've been using my love for you. You've been using, knowing that I, I want you, you've been hanging around me and not giving me what I need, which makes you think that that shit, your pussy is more special than my existence. And you got to tell her that, that either you ante up with some cooch, and you take yeah. it, dude, and you unload on it, Daryl. Don't be doing no make oh, love. This is a you smash her and tell her you goofy whore. You've been li this is it. This is your fuck game. You've been making me wait for. You're not even a soldier in bed. You take it out on her, and then you go thank you. Now, if you want to be friends now, true friends, we could do that. Now don't and don't do it as a tactic. Do it. You have to have a, a be righteous a ethic. with 
the fact that you're laying it down. It be honest be with it. Because if you use it as a tactic and then you're going to go back as being a friend and move yeah. in a refrigerator after you finish, she'll, she'll finish forever. <clears throat> so my last word, man, my last word to you, Daryl, is two things, man. You got to either take a L, like take it and just never talk to her again. Blow it up. Or... Or blow it up. Risk a L. Take your take your grenade, throw it down in front of her, and go. You gotta give me some pussy, or you are never to talk to me again. And 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 that's what you gotta do. Two forms of taking an L. One, completely dismiss her, or two, tell her that you have taken enough of my time for me to find out if you got some good ass. Cause that's what I'm gonna do. Really, is to find out if it's good. Cause I still might leave you. If it's bad after all these years, you asshole. It smells like the inside of a uh, <laughs> garbage juice. Garbage water. It, it, it smells like the inside of a boxing glove after a twelve round fight. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like the end of a stump. <laughs> uh, all right, Daryl, take care, man. Good luck to you, man. But Patrice, that's what I mean by when I said, you know, you got to come back like a jerk. Not really an a, a complete asshole, but you know, you 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 you're telling it as it is. You, it's it's not really the, literally a jerk, but the it's it's just it's like just. It's not you being a be jerk. It's like you got you got to understand. It's not being a jerk. It's not all these fucking adjectives about jerk, about dickhead, about that. It's 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 going. It's learning how to take that filter that makes that pulling out your teeth, pulling out your own teeth. Yes. And it, there there is a savvy to do it. You can't just come out and go bitch. Ah, well, what it is is just learning, learning how to take how you feel. And just word it. And, and just go, look, this is how I feel about this, man. I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. I feel like you, you're using me. I feel like I, this is how I feel. I feel this way. Now, it may be wrong. It may be right. But I'm telling you what's in my gut. I feel something. And I'm not going to automatically destroy what I feel to make you feel better. I'm going to tell you how I feel. Now, we should be able to deal with this. Because I didn't say just because I want to fuck you or just because I... I I'm thinking about fucking you is that or like when a, if a girl goes I love you and you don't love her well if you just have to know a logic yeah. on how to say look like I told my girl she told me she loved me first I love you and I go well I don't love you but here's the thing I'm gonna stay the guy that you love I'm gonna be the same motherfucker that you fell in love with I'm not gonna change and again are you in love with me because Due to the fact that you think I love you, relative to that, or do you love me? Despite it, do you love me? It, it regardless of how I feel about you. Don't you love me, whether I love you or not? Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, then shut up. Let's live life. Let's just live this. What we doing? All right. Don't fucking don't mess it up by by making me take all the energy that I have in being this guy that you really into. And then turn it into love. Now I got to love you. Now I got to be committed. And that's energy for a man. You're going to take all the energy that he has to be spontaneous, to do things, massage your feet, to like you. Let me tell you something. A fucking guy liking you sometimes is better than a motherfucker loving you. Just liking you. And doing things because he's, he's like, I like him. I like her. My, I like my boys. I li Some of my boys I don't love. But most of my boys I like. I like this nigga. Let's hang, baby. I don't love you. Now I love him. It's going to fuck it up. Because you, you start putting, you start doing things to people you love. You start, you start, you know, doing things to people you love that you think it's your God-given right. You're entitled to. People you like, you give yourself a self, you self-moderate. You and you go, you know what? I don't. I don't think I. I have to. I, I can't place this on a person that I like. Like a woman would do that. A woman is not a woman that thinks she likes you and you like her. She doesn't ask you about your other girlfriends. She doesn't ask you about anything else. She enjoys what's good to her. She enjoys what's like. You remember that song, SOS Band? That, just be good to me. Just be good to me. Play that fucking song. This is what every chick. Uh -oh. This is what every. You got it. Listen, there it is. Listen to this song, dude. Nobody, Friends Beyonce, fucking Ciara, whoever the fuck else is making songs, Britney Spears. All that shit mean nothing. This song can't be made now, but it should be now, because this song will keep every chick happy. 
listen to this shit. Just listen to this. this turn that, turn this shit up. This, 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 I want people to listen to this fucking song. I'm telling you. And this ain't filler, nigga. I can talk for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Listen to the words and stuff. You never heard this? There's some white people that just listen to fucking uh, <laughs> uh, meat loaf and, <laughs> <laughs> and rock and roll, or whatever fuck you listen to. Just, just. Just listen to this song, man. Listen to this song that I'm surprised this woman... What's the name of the lady that, that has seen from um, S.O.S. Band? God damn it, I know it. Deborah something? This is the S.O.S. Band. It's got the longest intro ever, nigga. What is this? Keep talking. Broadway play? I'll tell you when it comes in. Listen to this, listen to this. Friends, her all goofy bitches. Whenever you win me. Oh shit, stop it! Stop it, Daddy! Stop it! Wait a minute! Do you hoes even understand what that means? I feel you're ready, mine. Oh, you first you go, oh, this arrogant bitch. Whenever you're with me. Meaning she's taking what the fuck she can get. This dude is good. Good. <laughs> when he's with, he is. Oh, I love you. You gotta understand, ladies, that a motherfucker. You're gonna love him before he loves you, cause he's showing you all the best of himself. You're not. He's. Sh- you're not showing the best of you before he gets pussy. Before he gets pussy, it's him auditioning for pussy. So you're getting the best of a guy. So you're gonna love him first. So when you start to love him, you're like, I want him to love me too. You don't have any skill once you go, wait a minute, I love this motherfucker. Let's start putting in effect, you know, playing love, baby. You got to do that. You don't know how to. You just sit there and go, I love you. I love you. You should love me. But this chick is like, what? Give me what you got. Whenever you're with me. Go ahead, daddy. Reputation, meaning I heard you be fucking mad, bitches. <laughs> I don't care about the other girls. Just be good to me. Oh, just be good to her. Wait a minute, rewind that shit, nigga. <laughs> Do you understand? Reputation, I heard about you, nigga. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't care about the other girls. Just be good to me. Wait a minute. Prince said you're a user. I don't care what you do to them. I don't care how you treat these other hoes, nigga. Just be good to this me. is a bottom bitch song. Wait, stop that shit. This is a bottom bitch song. This is a song that pays homage to a girl that embraces pimps. Because <laughs> she's like, nigga, I am the bottom bitch. The bottom bitch to a pimp is his Once main so. girl. That's his chick that really ain't a prostitute. She's like his She's assistant. Like PA. She teaches the other women. She she keeps the other women loving. She's really the the the, the fourth degree black belt, but she don't mind that you have other classes. You understand what I'm saying? She's the fourth degree black belt that teaches the other students until you get to the sensei. You know, some of y'all ain't really even worthy of being taught by the sensei. The sensei only teaches on Sundays at uh, 6.30 in the evening. And all upper classes. And only upper black classes. Belt. Only people that my teacher class. feels is worthy of that. All right, hit it, Danny. May have many others. Yes, I do. But I That's true. Mm-hmm. Seem to always listen, these jealous hoes, to the bad things that you do. <laughs> you never do them to me. You do them to them hoes, not me. Uh, talking about reputation. 
education. I don't care about the other girls. Just be good to me. That is focus. <laughs> uh, that's focus. You understand? What chick is gonna make a song like that now for a nigga? Do you think she's a sucker? Does she sound like an idiot? Uh-oh, here it is. And she's happy about being the top of <laughs> la la. Let's do it. La 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 la. <laughs> Just be... She's la 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 She is comfortable. Nobody lies no more. Nobody la la la. <laughs> We missing something. You you missed the best part. You where's the where's the best part? This is XM's version. Hmm? This might be an edit, actually. An edit. The best part was I'd rather wait. I'd rather have a piece of you than to have all or none, baby. That, that's a 12 minute version. Then that fucking went there. I think I think Nigga. Drew's right. That I'd rather yeah. have a piece of you than to have all of none. That means it's like you bitches go like. Who? Nigga, nigga wrote this song. She said, I'd rather have a piece of you than to have a chick go, it's either all or nothing. That's you chicks that be telling niggas to marry you, like, right away. Or get, get on the pot and shit or get off the pot. Like, what? Like, what I have, what I'm giving you ain't enough? What I'm giving you ain't enough. It ain't never enough. It ain't enough? I'm loving you like that. I'm feeling you. I just don't want to marry you yet. Don't want to have kids. Don't want to be with you past, like, three days a week? La, 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 la. That's a t-shirt. Yeah, I think you're talking la, about... La, 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 la. I think you're talking about the nine-minute version. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Get the nine-minute version next time, nigga. All right, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back with Michelle, who likes sniffing cock. We're going to get back to you, Michelle. <laughs> Don't you leave. Don't I'm leave. Damn it. She likes to sniff cock. Wow. <laughs> That's what's on the screen. Oh, we're going to take a break. We'll see you in a minute. It's Black Phillip with Patrice O'Neal. It is almost better than when a guy eats your pussy. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? The virus is an XL channel which may contain explicit language. Channel blocking is available by calling 1-800-XM-RADIO or in XM Canada, 877-438-9677. <laughs> Music. I, I defy you to find a song after 1999 where a, where a bitch is understanding like that. We're going to get upside. Drew Boogie later on the show, man. Drew was hit saying that uh, Upside Down by Diana Ross yes. is, has those type of lyrics. Has a lyric mm -hmm. where she just gets a guy, gets what he is, but she has this, this infinite security. Boy, mm. that's a song of security. I got it. But I've never. Now, some songs. You don't know the, you don't the, know lyrics. the lyrics of it. Like, my girl was hipping me to, like, how deep um, Gnarls Barkley's crazy is. I mm. remember when, like, all we know is, you think I'm crazy? But it's a deep song about some guy delving into psychosis, mm. but he really don't think he is. Everybody else thinks he is. It's, it's, a, it's a deep song, and you don't know that until you're like, well, oh, shit, the lyrics. the lyrics. Like, upside down. All I know is upside down. Oh, the lyrics. Mm. Boy, you turn me. Yeah. That's all I know. But yeah. I, but I wait till don't... you hear it. Wait till you right, hear it. Gonna... And there's another one that uh, when we were in high school came out. Guy, um, remember "Piece of My Love"? You can have a piece of my love. My love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's he waiting. Was yeah. Yeah. But see, it don't count. If the guy when a nigga says, it. "I just want a little pussy," <laughs> it's when a girl goes, "I'll take a little." Yes, dick. but he's telling us. He's love. telling her straight up from the get go. Which we, is, uh, which but we was, do that all the time. Yeah, we just rap, <laughs> but they don't know that. That's we what we really, gotta tell them. They all the, don't know that. All the the the, the, the lyrics, like, and we gotta do that on another show. Yeah, is really investigate lyrics like mm -hmm. that. That's a good idea. I will start and looking you, for songs. And you can't find. I defy you to find a song past 1999 that's that. Humble as a girl being that confident. That's a sexy song, dude. Yeah, that and Prince song, don't count, niggas. <laughs> Prince don't count. <laughs> <laughs> and we gonna go to um, real quick. We ready to go with some calls? 
um, Michelle in uh, in Connecticut uh, likes sniffing cock. And I, <laughs> Uh-oh. Michelle? Yeah. Hi, do you like, you like sniffing cock pumpkin? I, I do. Okay, well, go ahead. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I, well, Me no, neither. I don't. <laughs> sniffing cock is always good. Now, now, you sniff cock. Why? Like, what is your well, purpose? It started with my boyfriend. He had axe on, and that drives me up a fucking wall. And he put it. Wait a minute, bitch. Are you doing talking an about axe a commercial, commercial? <laughs> where you no, knock down no. shit? It, you, axe really. <laughs> wait, axe really no, has no. a good effect on the. <laughs> wait a minute. Axe, axe is really and, smells good like that. Axe and Dolce and Gabbana make a fucking woman go nuts. Now he sprays it where by the uh, where the hairline is by the. By <laughs> Just it started. He sprayed it like on his jeans. So I was just we were hot and heavy one night. So I decided that I was just gonna like go down, and I started to smell, and I was like, I liked what I smelled. So, so you, now so it says you like sniffing just cock in general, or you like sniffing your cock? boyfriend's cock with axe on? It? No, like no. Now like if somebody smells good, I have to be like, can I sniff your cock? Oh, so this is like, like a cock sniff. I think that you're, you have like a little good, fetish now. It's a fetish now. Now if you have like good cologne on and I smell it, I have to smell your cock. Does he have to have co uh, cologne on his cock to to? to no, be if, he, good with if you? he just no, if he smells good, I'll just go up to him and be like, can I smell your cock? And most of them look at me like I'm a fucking retard, but then I get down there and I smell their cock, and if I like it, it's fucking good. I like it. Uh, all right, you know? I like to be asked for my I cock like, to be smelled. Good for me. Well, the moral of the story is, thank you for calling you cock sniffing whore. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, call it what you will, buddy. Hey, no, I say that with love, punk. fucking smell your dick. No, I don't say that with hatred. And no, I say That's that with love. If you have a cologne on your dick, I'll come on over and I'll fucking smell it. <laughs> oh, she don't know the language. All right, well, all right. Thank you, Michelle. You <laughs> dick sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> And if you put cologne on your dick, it burns. It does. Yeah. I would hope Alcohol. she just meant the pubis area. Ah, she... Pubis. Yeah, the pubis. Drew being technical. All right. <laughs> That's a Jimmy thing. The pubis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob in New York. We're going to fly through some calls. Rob. Yo, what's up, Patrice? How are you, sir? Uh, all right, bro. You're kicking ass out there, man. Thank you, man. <clears throat> I just want to say, it's hard to follow up after the sniff cock and the bitch that sniffs cock, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. Man. I, I agree with everything you say. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm a white dude, but I, I have the same philosophy as you do. <clears throat> as far as, you know, they, I got I to gotta have them love me first. And they don't understand that. They're like, you know... Well, they, they want gonna, you to bend over back, backwards. And they're gonna love you first there. anyway, though. That's the thing. That's the na that's the natural. Go that's the natural. Na women. That's the that's the progression of it. Is because what we have to give for what we want is is much more than they have to give for what they want. Like, and that's, they don't even give. I mean, they're gonna. It's, it's redundant to say you got to give them to fall in love with you first. Any guy that falls in love with a woman first really is. It, he has low self esteem, and all he he's having trouble getting pussy, and it's it's the idea of getting pussy that's making him go, I'm just gonna love her because I can't get no other pussy. But no guy falls in love with a woman for her personality, because we really don't give a shit. We don't give a shit if you can't read. We don't give a shit if you don't have a job. We don't give a shit if you got seven kids. We don't care. We, we because we'll fuck a girl if a, if a guy goes. Baby, I got three kids. She goes, oh my god. Mm -hmm. If a guy, if a, if a woman goes, I got three kids. He goes, well, good. That means you fucking. Are, are they sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> well, was, are they, they adopted? The <laughs> they not adopted? Well, shit, nigga, you cheat on me. You putting them to bed. And then love is a thing that sneaks up on guys where we just keep a chick around yeah, so long it's that, that you go, this is, a habit. she's a trooper, and she just becomes a uh, yeah, a habit. We're 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 creatures of habit, and, and just through time. And, and if you fall in love with a, a bitch first. She, she has no respect for you. Nine, nine times out of ten, you watch a guy, he falls in love. The girl loses respect for him. They feel something's wrong. This guy ain't right. Something's wrong. And they kick him to the curb. No, you ruined the challenge at that point. It's absolutely That's true, right. man. And it, it, sounds, it sounds fucked up to women. But, but you got to understand, when a guy meets you, think about what goes on. Think about it's like, <clears throat> he's, at a, he's, on, he's, doing, he's put his best foot forward. He's like, he's being respectful. How are you? You know, hey, yeah, blah, he's blah. He's working for the pussy. He's working. Yeah. He's working. And they, you know he's working. But then what happens is, you're starting to feel <clears throat> the thing. Here's the thing. A woman needs to like you to fuck you. Like she, she the the thing that I'm giving a woman to to like me is the is the same thing I'm giving her to, to want to fuck me. 
Yeah. To want to have sex with me is the same thing. Like, so she's like, oh, he's so attractive. Right, he's right. so set. I want to fuck him and I want to be with him. But a guy, he wants to fuck you first. And then it's like, okay, I'll keep fucking you. And then he goes, Do I, like I think you? I want to be with her. Mm-hmm. You know, let me. Right. Let me. Let if me she does the right thing. Over. Yeah, if she does the right thing, then you fall in love with her. Yeah, well, good. well, he's, he's, he's funny shit. <laughs> Rob's like, yeah, you didn't do the right thing, and this bitch loves you. I love you too, I think. He's about to say that. Right. I love you too, I think. All right, hey, Rob, thanks for calling, man. Hey, uh, who's this? Uh, Dustin, Arizona. Dustin? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I got, okay, here's, I, I'm just getting frustrated. I've been married seven years. Yes. And I finally talked the wife into letting me sort of have a threesome. Mm-hmm. We're all three of us naked. All she wanted to do was kiss the other girl, eat the other girl. And I couldn't touch her. I couldn't do anything. I was just wondering if that's sort of in the right direction or is yeah, yes, yes, yes. Let it. Don't be selfish. I know it's hardcore, dude. <laughs> dude I know it, you want to just become a serial killer yes. and just kill all a room and naked bitches, and you just sitting there. I know you want to do it, but here's. Dude, the rules. you gotta Three understand, dude, that the girls run it. When it's you and two women, y'all, they run the show. Just don't be a cock blocker until eventually you, they They'll can't help you it, in. dude. They'll if one of in. them likes dick, that's all you gotta do. I'm t- me and my girl did one a couple of weeks. I'm telling you, the other chick was figuring out how to put two bullets in the back of my head to get rid of me because <laughs> she wanted my girl. And I and I'm sitting there comfortable like ah okay cool hey I'll just stand outside the room and blah 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 but I know that when it's time nigga you they gotta ante up she's not especially your wife see here's the thing it's not the other bitch's fault it's your wife your wife got y'all gotta be soldiers together man y'all gotta work this out you have to go in and touch your wife and because the other chick is going to do anything your wife do so what's going to happen is you come in and she brings you in you start kissing on your wife you start licking her up and 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 the eventually wife is the, wife is the liaison <clears throat> eventually your your wife is going to start moving that chick in the direction of your balls trust me D- let them do like what they're doing thing. it is man yeah. let the girls run it i know you mad i know it's like oh two naked girls this is you know because a lot of guys don't get the experience of that but i'm telling you dude just 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 jerk off on the side have your wife just tell your wife look show me a little something and then after you, one of them comes then you kind of got to make the other one come and then na- naturally a woman's going to want to do you then they're going to want to make you come just have them lick both your nipples that's what i do I'm, I'm like, I just get stereo nipple licks, man. That's what I do. I love it. But, dude, I understand and your frustration. I understand it. Be patient. Let them yeah, come to you. Don't be too anxious. I, he his phone. I understand. And listen, listen, if you're still there, understand that you cannot be selfish in this matter, man. Let the girls run it because it's almost like, I'm trying to get an example you're of, the dick like, in the room. It's, it's like, you got to be um, the dick in the room. It's like, you know how you go somewhere, you go to the movies, and you just go, I'm just going to watch the movies, but there's the popcorn stand. And so the movie people, they, the, the popcorn's $10 and everything's so expensive. Right. But people know innately, it's something about, it's something about when you go to the movies, you got to get some goobers, you got to get something. So if you go there and your wife is going there with the intent purposes of being with another girl and she wants to muscle you out, trust me, if you just stay, keep your dick hovering around... <laughs> Like the aliens from Independence Day, just in the stratosphere, <laughs> let your balls break off and <laughs> and float. You know how they go, uh, sir, um, the other one stopped, but there's uh, two more uh, balls floating around in the atmosphere. <laughs> let your balls float around in the atmosphere, but don't force it to happen, dude. I'm telling you, they can't help it. Your dick is like goobers at the movie theater. They got to get nobody, some. And nobody goes to the movies <laughs> for popcorn. <laughs> And go for the movie first. Yeah, you end up getting popcorn. Yeah, you want some popcorn? Yeah, give me a line of popcorn. <laughs> That's what your dick is in that situation. Your dick is just nah, popcorn. So don't be. This is what I'm saying. Ego. Today's lesson is ego, nigga. Don't have it. Just let it go. Let them girls listen. How ex- put it this way? How exciting is it to watch uh, lesbian porn? You know, you watch two sexy women go at it. You sit there and you beat off. You don't get mad if they don't say, wait a minute. Wait, I think what's, there's a guy it? watching. <laughs> Come here to the TV. You go like, what the fuck? Just, it, just know that 
all your senses. You got you can smell it happening. You can, it's your sheets. It's your bed. It's like wow. It's just let it happen, dude. Let what, it happen. The, the three rules, the threesomes. Let your girl <laughs> set it up. Let your girl set this let nigga know. Let your girl set it up. Don't be too anxious about how just don't be too excited about who she picked <laughs> and don't fuck the other bitch and don't when she's not the looking <laughs> and don't fuck the bitch after the threesome don't don't spoon the other bitch and tell your girl to go in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> you can't love the other bitch oh my god um uh, uh uh let's go to uh oh let's go to my boy jerry man damn jerry yo how you doing man Hey, what's up, man? You gotta, you gotta come in, and do one of these days, man, and hang. Is this the man? Yeah, I know. This is my boy from enough. Kinetic. This oh, is yeah, dude. This, this is, is dude. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm living the life. You should. You gotta come in one of these days with the with the family. That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta come in with the family, man. Jerry Biglow. <laughs> <laughs> Biglow, Jerry. Nigga. What's going on, man? Was you? Did y'all do something today? Oh, you know what I want to ask you, Jerry. I do you get? Do you does it? Is it as um? Is it is it as sexually fulfilling after a while? Not as there. Like, do you always feel like, oh, it's two women in my bed, or it's just like it's it's almost like having sex with one now? Um. Yeah. You, you understand like the question? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Um. Yeah, it's kind of like having sex with one. You gotta. I mean, I'm I'm the true pimp though, Patrice. I'm I'm I'm, I'm still looking. You know, I'm still getting some on the side, even though I got two women living in the house. <laughs> but listen, you got to understand, it's all a Jerry. You got to understand it's that different. he's living his, I don't even want to call it a fantasy. It's its in guys. You got to understand, I, nature, I don't believe nature to make mistakes. I don't believe it makes mistakes. I think that what happens is what's supposed to happen. Now, I believe that if you're born, the fact that men are born, and I think the ratio, I think the ratio is four to one five to one or something crazy like that yeah. it means that it's that means all guys are supposed to fuck five women because <laughs> we we're here to consummate and make kids if, if it was vice versa and it was five guys to one woman nigga nobody be getting fucked it'd be a lot of kidnappings a lot of wars with each other like pussy wars straight up fuck iraq and all that <laughs> it's just like we're gonna gladiate over some ass, right. and and we and the winner gets this chick who's probably gonna be locked up in a cage, <laughs> hoping that a, a a gentleman wins, and and not that nigga missing uh missing one eye, you know what I'm saying? And what happens is I think that the fact is that Jerry can. I always tell my girl I think I'm a good enough man to be with, you know, it's work though. Be with three girls. Jerry, it's work though, ain't it? I don't think it's work for Jerry. Yes. What's that? I mean, just it's to, to keep to it dealing up. with it, to keep it up, to maintain it, to maintain the situation. I mean, it's, um, you're still dealing with two women. You're still you have dealing to be with on two guard with two women. But yeah, I think it, one, I think one is a lot more submissive. I mean, than even even if they're submissive, you're still talking about being that. You know, apparently he is this strong dude that. Makes all right, well, let's fold. ask him. What's the toughest part of it all, Jerry? What's the toughest part of it? The toughest part of it, to, like the thing, the thing that's it's, not the, it's not, it's not pimp. It's like, like I, I like to say, the, I like to say the word pimp, but it's, it's tough to pimp a girl that you care about. It's tough to be hard on her all the time because you you do want to take care. That's another thing about us. We are providers. We want to take care of our family and take care of the woman we love. But the toughest thing about being with two women as your woman, what's what is the hardest part of that? The hardest part is finding time for just me, you know. So, so wait there. a minute, though. So, what's that mean? Like you, you have to still, even though you living in this fantasy world that we all love, you live in this world of of fucking two women and one lives with you. You still have to like curl up and watch a movie or it's work by yeah. yourself. It's work. He's you still have guy. to be lovey dovey. Yeah, he's still got to yeah. maintain. Oh yeah. Shit, man. Because I'm thinking <laughs> the only way to do it is like one is lovey dovey and the yeah. other one is. But see, he's uh, the, he, no, no, he, no, Jerry. How long has this been going on? Uh, ten years. So t Five see what I'm saying? He, Holy shit. This is this is two of his women. He has to be and emotional. And you got room? Wait a minute, nigga. You trying to find another bitch? Yeah, no wonder you ain't got no time to yourself. Which goes to show he you, does. he loves these two women, and he still needs side pussy. It's yeah. <laughs> side pussy is, ladies, stop being so defensive about <laughs> side booty. Yeah. I personally last, last night I got side pussy. Yeah. 
You that last night? Last night. Now, uh, let me ask you, do they know? Yes. Oh, I, my I God. sent them downstairs to go watch a movie together, and I said, I'm getting this girl coming over, and exactly. we're going upstairs in my bedroom. If I was a square, I'd go, what are you doing? This is what squares are thinking. Jerry, he's probably he's probably abusive, and he has a gun on both of them. <laughs> but it's mental. Yeah. He explains it, and he living it. It's hard to live how you want to live, dude. But once you do... It's beautiful. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that because that's three women. He's still got two more. And again, I say this in my act. Not only do I have five who are naturally born with me, I have homosexuals five. I have dead motherfuckers five. I have retarded niggas five. I have niggas in jails five. I have married guys who don't cheat five. I have fucking the niggas who's in Iraq now five, and I'm holding them off till they get back. I have... uh, Fucking it's like fifty to one. It's it's a lot of women yeah. who are having trouble getting a guy. So okay, back to the just be good to me shit. What am I gonna do? My girl got me. So what about the other ten that are alone? But see, I think that women, for the the nature of who we are, every day. You walk outside and there's a new guy that's trying to fuck you. He, they're like, hey baby, what's up? What you doing? And and you go, no, thank you. You're all day used to rejecting men. So all day long, you rejecting 10 men, which makes you think that there's 10 available motherfuckers out there. It ain't. <laughs> I got a girl. And I'm still going, hey, baby, that's just what you are. When I talk to you in the street, you're just, I just got my human resources department open. <laughs> like, I got my secretary that I need for my company, but... At the same time, I got to always put out applications. Just in case this bitch leaves me without two weeks slip, notice. She might slip and fall. <laughs> she, she might try to sue the company. She, I, I got to replace her just in case she leaves the company. And that's what women don't understand is, is a shortage of men. You don't have a lot of options. That's why a guy like Jerry can live. I, I, Jerry, are you a part of any, like... Um, Cults. A- any not cults, but any um I know what you're saying though. Not a cult but like a um what do they call it? like a, a group. like a group. Like yeah, are you a part of any 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 sex groups or anybody yeah, that that group. lives like you live? No. I know my we've talked to some people online but uh we're never we're not really a part of a specific Jerry's group too or busy. <laughs> Take care. <of> his- <laughs> no, but, let me tell you. No, but think about it. He's doing it with like no role model. He's doing it with like nobody to to, to tell him how it was done. How old are you, Jerry? How old are you? I'm forty. All right, forty. Yeah. When you when this is so interesting. At what? Because we all live the same life. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you didn't start off in the tenth grade as like I'm gonna do this. No. At what was the point? What was the like for me? Um. It, it was already always there, but Brazil had this thing where I go, wait a minute, this is this is like the epiphany. This is the epiphany time. So I'm asking you about the epiphany time. When I had an epiphany was when I went to Brazil. I was in my regular because I used to be a serial monogamous, meaning I would just go from woman to woman and make her my girlfriend. I would always have a girlfriend. And yep. what I, what I said to myself. I, I got into the same thing with this last chick. I went to Brazil, and I just met the chick, and then I went to Brazil, and I was like, wow, I, I feel great. Like, I even though I'm paying for this pussy, I feel like these these women, man, are selling me what I want to buy. You know what I mean? They are selling me what I want to buy. I'm, I feel free. I feel like I don't have to be a pimp. Like, meaning I don't have to have mind games. And, and these women are gorgeous. And I found myself wanting to fuck them less that I would hang out with him and, and was being happy. So basically, when I came back, I said, you know something? I'm never going to put myself in a position to not be happy ever again. And that was the time where I had that that thing that swept over me where I'm saying, you know what? I'm going to live like this. Now, what what was the moment where you said, I'm going to live like this? Okay. The history lesson is, and, and a lot of guys will... will you know, and you've got you've talked about this even tonight. Is uh, you know, getting screwed over, or fucked over by a girl, and I got fucked over by two girls. You know, one right after the other because I was stupid, and I went in there and I was like, "Oh, I love you," and you know, I had a chance to own my own business, and said, "She said, no, you got to stay home with me," and all this other shit, and then she fucking left me, and I was like, "What the fuck was that?" I was a nice guy. I was a sweetheart, buying flowers every Valentine's Day. Now I go buy your own flowers. 
And <clears throat> let me tell you something. Now, any women who are listening and any square guys who are listening, you got to understand that you can't look at that like and go, oh, that's what it is. He's a He's jilted injured. guy. No. He felt like that before he got fucking hurt. We feel like that before. Let me tell you something. I used to be a poetry writing nigga, or oh, whatever yeah. writing. Nigga. I used to do a lot of shit to get pussy, dude. Yep. And and it was like I would give them the power of of pussy. I would make pussy like so powerful in my life that I'm like, wait a minute, I'm better than this. I am not gonna like put myself in a position to go. Oh, I love you, booby. I found that being a dick. And let me tell you about this. Is go back to the word bitch. Why I say it? It doesn't mean anything to me. It's just a belief system. It's just to say to myself, I can say bitch, and I believe in it. And I'ma see if I can have you like get mad at it, and I stay stand. I stand firm on it. He believes. And what he's doing. It took a minute, but he said, you know what? People go, this guy's a lying motherfucker. I'm going to tell you something, dude. No, you not. go, nigga, I'm a, I'm a, and it sounds arrogant, but he, it's a belief system. He believes in it to a point where he's like, the girl's like, he sent two girls down and going to fuck another one. Yeah, shut the fuck up. It happens if you believe it. Trust me. Really? The word bitch to me is not, it's nothing to me as, except for this. It's just, uh -huh. go ahead. And I think you talked about it before, Patrice, man, because I was, like, I was a pussy motherfucker. I, I mean, I remember the last time. We all are. My, my last girlfriend, when, before I got married, and I was crying like a motherfucker. I don't know why she left me. I don't know why she left me. You know, and then Why? Just, who? Where? Why? Yeah, how? You know, and, and then I just, it's something just, that was my epiphany. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, man? Sitting you know? here crying so like now, a bitch. Yeah. Curled up in the corner you know, in the fetal like, position. Over, then, over what? That's the thing. Over what? Somebody what do like you. you really mean? If no. let me ask you a fr question, fellas, if your girl left you, right? What would you really miss about her? What would you really miss about her? What? What she? What? Her funny jokes? Yeah. Her? Her? What? The the way she talks to you when you don't want to talk to her? You miss the routine. That's what you miss. You miss the routine of what? Just hanging out together, going out, the things that you do together every day. You miss Not that because you, no. you find yourself Not sitting yet. alone. You, uh, we don't have a problem. We sit alone. <laughs> we, <laughs> no problem. That's what, that's that's what, what you, you miss. We miss. That's what well, you miss. That. That's what a woman misses. We don't miss your routine. That, that's what I'm saying. There's no. So, let me say. I, so why are you sitting I'm, home sad? You he sitting home sad. But that's why? my question. That, okay. You miss All right. Hey, hey, Jerry, when you was crying in the fetal, yep. what were you cry? I say, and this is my theory, but arrogance. I'm going to ask you, it's the, uh, to me, it's the, it's the arrogance and the ego that you thought the bitch was yours. Right. It's like, that's you know what it's what like? It it's like possession. I said, it's, it's like possession. it's possession. I got five yeah. watches that, and four of them I don't wear, right? But you Ever. can't take one But if of them. one, if a nigga steal my watch, I'm going crazy. Right. So it's like you got three bitches and you a piece of shit. Right. Fuck it. Right. And you lose one of them bitches. And you mad at them. Your ego's like, oh, oh you man. feel your ego is damaged. Yeah. That's how I feel when, when if a girl leaves you and you hurt. But let me ask you, Jerry, when you was in the fetal position, how, what, when you look back to about it, what did you miss when you was in tears and in pain? And what did you miss after you, fi when you figured it all out and up to this point, reflecting, what did you miss when you reflect on her? And what did you miss at the time when she left you? You understand the question? Oh, no, not really. What, what you did you think? You? Okay, what did you think you missed when, you, when she first left you and you was hurt? Well, I thought I was in love and I thought I, you know, missed, you know, hanging out with her and all that shit that the girl was talking about. And, and dude, that's not what I missed. You know, what, I, what, I what did you miss when you, when you reflect, was, when in retrospect, what, did, what were you crying over? Mostly just getting laid, you know? Just getting laid. Ain't that, I'm, I'm telling you, ladies, you think, you think it ain't that important? You think pussy's not That's that important? That's part of the routine. Is, me, is no, pussy? I didn't miss it. Yeah. This is not a routine. If you were getting it every night, and now suddenly she's gone, and you don't get it, that's part of your routine. What goofy guy gets it every night? When it, this is that's another thing, y'all. When y'all use pussy as a as a, a means a of a weapon, yeah. do you are you gonna give your weapon to the enemy every night? You're gonna hold it off and make him <laughs> suffer. What? That's what I'm saying. 
Patrice. <laughs> there, have been, there have been times. Listen, listen, there have been times when I've had both women and two other women on the side and still not gotten pussy every night. Say that, 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 that one more time. Four, I had four my wife. Yeah, I have four chicks and all not, at one time. And, not and get still laid. not gotten pussy every night. That, that's just not... Like you said, that's just not, it's not going to happen. You're just not going to get pussy every night. No. That's just not going to happen. It's not the routine. It was it's ego, that. man. It's Plus they, start, they start cycling <laughs> Jerry, where's your, where's your girl at now? What's going on? Where they at now? They're in the other room listening to this conversation. Let, let me, can, can you get them on the phone? Let me talk to them for Hi, you. Hi, ladies. Yeah, girl, <laughs> pick up the phone when you hear this. They're a little behind in the delay. Hey, let All me right, tell let you tell them to turn else. the radio down, too. Yeah, and turn the radio down. Um, you got to go get the other phones, girls. Oh my god, my dick just got hard. I'm living. Girls, <laughs> nigga, I think I'm gonna fuck Jerry just to, just to know what it's like. Nigga, he's like girls, and if you hear me, he's not like, yo, bitches, get the motherfucking phone if I choke one of y'all. Girls. Listen, let me tell you something else, okay? Call some girls, too, coochie coo. This is the other thing about my life, and, and Patrice, you know I'm honest as fucking day is long. Yeah, yeah. I, I have sent both of them out, my wife and my girlfriend, to go fuck other guys. Well, that's what you have to do. You See, that's I do. that's the key. That's where watched... that's where you learn. Look at <laughs> look at Danny's face. Because that's the one thing I, out of everything I've heard tonight. That's the one thing I can't I can't wrap my mind around. It's, like it's, how, that, how, it's, it's ego. How do you send your girl out? It's the ego. To fuck some other let me, let me ego. ask you a question, do, Danny. Do you have something of value to you? Whatever, go. That really you don't give a fuck about. But but, but, but it's it. yours and it means something to you. But you really don't. It's no. You get it gets no attention. It gets no like it's a possession. You know, if right, somebody, you know, you, know, you know, like when a, when a kid has a uh, gets a dog, but he don't walk him. He don't spend time with him. But then you say, look, I'm getting rid of your dog. Then he goes, no, no, don't, don't. I please. love my dog. Right. I, I I got it. I got it. Danny, you have to send your girl out. With the confidence that you know that after she fucks some other guy, she's coming back to you. You got her mind. That's it. <laughs> Look at Danny. Danny's like, I can't, Danny can't deal with No, I, deal with it. I can deal with that. It's just like... It, it just, takes practice. Because in, in your head, you're like, I can't believe... I, at least I would be like, I can't believe that my girl is fucking some other dude right now. And that I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't be able to <laughs> relax. No, <laughs> Jerry. I was knowing, Jerry. That, knowing that your seven-inch dick is getting pumped away <laughs> by some nine-inch monster. And your girl's like, oh, I didn't know what I was missing. Fucking this loser, Danny. <laughs> there was you, you know what Danny's afraid of? Here's what it is. Wait a minute. Stop the pressing. <laughs> <laughs> you think that another guy is going to expose your faulty fucking. Like, <laughs> like, that's what it is. Is you think there's another guy. I'm going to tell you one story of my girl that bugged me about her fucking What's another guy. Is a, is a, oh. she, said, she said she fucked this rapper. I'm not going to be nameless. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she said, I, she said I'm the best sex she's ever had, but she had another guy who I know is the best sex she ever had because she's talking to me. Mm -hmm. All right? So she said that he's the only guy that when he was fucking her made her have to pee on herself. <laughs> and when he was fucking her, he said while she had to pee, she said I had to get up and go pee. And he said, I don't give a fuck if you piss. Just keep pissing. And he kept fucking her. And he and she was crying. And she was telling me the story. And my stomach, not, I almost threw up. I think my kidneys went into failure. <laughs> I think my liver fell out. When she's saying this guy is fucking her till she peed on herself. And I and I said, you know what it was? Uh, Here's what made me mad. Because I can't fuck her till she pees on herself. <laughs> I don't have a pee dick. So this nigga was packing enough to fuck with a bladder. <laughs> and Danny's scared of the nigga's no. gonna fuck his girl's bladder in the stretch. <laughs> but that's why I go out and I try to actively uh, try to embrace another guy fucking the shit out of my girl. And hopefully my mind game can overwhelm his bladder skills. <laughs> right, bladder, <laughs> bladder beating skills. I remember something you said, and it was to the effect of you, 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 you know, a, a guy who lost his, you know, he's like 35, he had a 21 year old girlfriend, and he lost it to another guy, thinking his fuck game was supposed to keep her. Right. And that's not the way it works. You can't keep a girl, a 21 year old girl, with your fuck game, especially if you're 35. It, it, I mean, Jerry's 40. He can't keep this going with his fuck game. He's 40. So he has to keep it with a mind like girls. That's not dick. Girls, get the phone. Girls, that's not dick. Right. It's something that's... else. It's leadership. It's like these chicks. Like this nigga's a winner for some reason. That's why I gotta keep my girl thinking she's. A, I gotta be better than a nigga fucking her bladder to shreds. And I got mad, nigga. 
I was like, ah! Oh! Like, in my head, like, like, they just got to pee on his own. And no matter how hard I push my fat butt, no pee is gonna unless I crush her. She had to punch her, it in the kidneys. Crush her, her hip bone. You punch it in the gotta, kidneys while you. I gotta reach down and start squishing her organ for for me to make her gotta. You understand? Yeah. It's like it's an ego thing, Danny. It's, it's like you thinking that some guy's just gonna be better than you and the fuck. But you gotta have her thinking. Like a friend of mine just called me and said he was scared to get a dildo bigger than his own dick, and I said, look. What you have to do is have her think. Because any woman can get dick, but she can't get sex, the, the, that satisfying it's the, it's the, fucking orgasmic you know, thing. Once you can bring that to a girl, she applies that. Like, if anybody, the, if Jerry, if these two girls leave Jerry, both of them will be fucked up because they're going to miss what, the, the that, energy of like this chick that this new chick my girl brought around and we messed around a little bit and I was I was she was just like she kept saying things to me like why she was thinking because she looked at, I'm a big motherfucker so she's like when she's sucking my nips she's like oh wow he 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 looks at her she looks at her because she's still into my girl so the girl's talking to my girl she's like oh you smell like soap and I'm thinking to myself. What, 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 what am I supposed to smell like? What, you thought I smell like uh, underneath a whale's arm? Yes. Like, <laughs> like, like a whale ball. Like <laughs> hot dog water. <laughs> so she's like, wow, you smell. And I'm sucking the titties when my girl went to the bathroom. And she's like, you're so soft. Like, we had a moment. You know what I mean? So she was like, well, there you go. Like, wait a minute. Fat boy ain't so bad. And, and then she get into it. And then she sees how. So after, if we do that a couple of times, she goes fuck some nigga that could have um a peep, 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 a peep. Dick, you know, a bladder smashing dick, but she's gonna go, man. Yeah, he's, so, he's, he's not soft. soft. He don't smell like yeah. soap, and his girl ain't gentle. Yeah. And this ain't this sucks. Yeah. Even with giant dick. Here's, here's what happens: a good, a good, a good situation. Like even the magic wand. When he's using the magic wand, yeah. I know guys that I've turned on to the magic wand, and they would use it, be afraid to use it. I don't want my girl to be into that. But what she does is she attributes that to item him. to you. She associates she, any sexual activity that makes him. her feel good to him. So that it, the, the, the vibrate is no good without you. This I, Let me tell you something. I've given out magic wands. There has to be at least 400 magic wands floating around the universe. Wow. And, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about af after um, one that, and then she, I, I, I have to say, I it has to be about 400 attributed to me because of people you turn and about 800 attributed to you yeah. because Dante hit me to the magic wand. I used to be a believer in the uh, pocket rock. Right. Then he tribute to the, he got me in the magic wand, so I hit this one in the magic wand, and I know that that one hit somebody to the magic wand, so I must be responsible for 400. Dante must be responsible for 800 with my 400, and I'm going to tell you, some of the chicks still call me because I was the nigga that introduced her to this way of life. So what happens yeah. is, why Jerry, why these women cannot leave Jerry is because there's a way of life. That they are associated with Jerry. They got to go in. And here's the thing. Women do not introduce what they want sexually to you. You know what I mean? You have to introduce it to them. They can't. They're not just going to go, listen. Um, they, I like, you can't I like. Say, you can't say, choke me. You, because as a, as the whole woman. idea of you choking her right. is is lost because she's telling you to choke you, her. Exactly. So the fact is, she can't, like, what woman now that she, one of these girls leaves and she goes, Hey, listen, sweetie, you think you can find yourself another girlfriend that lives with us upstairs and then also <laughs> go fuck other women and then I go fuck other guys? Huh? <laughs> um, uh... Uh, listen, I guess uh, can, you have uh, to get out of my house, crazy bitch. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's why it's easy to have a 10-year thing like this. I mean, that's the tough that's word. Jerry, hey, listen, we're going to go on a break real quick. Stay on the phone, and we're going to kick it to um your, the girls. Okay. <laughs> Daddy's got to run. The girls. I love the girls. <laughs> girls, we're going to be back in a minute, all right? All right. Oh, Ooh. she sounds nice in control. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Go get me some tea, <laughs> even though I'm not there. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. It's Black Phillip with Patrice O'Neill. So the guy goes, well, I can't get hard unless you suck my dick. So I was like, I don't know you. I can't just suck your dick. What, bitch? Who sucked the dick after you met the guy the night before? Fuck! 
This is just make me sick. I'm not fucking raw cock. I don't know. Shut up. Song that you know, black guy wrote. Boom, 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 boom. That's some Howard Hewitt shit. And we love this the And love this one. Guys just have love in their songs. And love in a girl. Love is love. And when you love somebody, love is love. And love and love. <laughs> Hey man, we gotta go right to Alondra, man. This these words I'm reading, this can't be true. Alondra? Thank you. Where's the oh, yeah, oh he, Danny's yeah, gotta the phone come here. Click the thing first. Click. Look at Danny, you dirty slave. Click this phone, nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Alondra? Hello. Easy, oh, easy. Lord. Alondra. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry. First of I'm all good. first of all, how old are you? I'm twenty four. 24, so you still got the silicone pack in your pussy that come with the shoes? Like, it's, it's brand new, ain't it? Got that new car that smell. That new car pussy. <laughs> that, pine, yeah. that pine pussy. Go ahead, sweetie. Go ahead, say your pussy. Speak your piece, beautiful. No, I, was, I had a comment about the guy that was surprised that his girlfriend dicked him over because he had put off, like, opening up a business because oh she said it. I, that he should stay home with her? Yeah. Like, he was a fucking cunt. So how did he not know she was going to dick him over? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a fucking idea. You sound like the you... Woman, the the name. woman is selfish, and she was obviously going to dick him over. Any woman that would ask a man to not open up a business to stay at home with her... Are you talking about it? Jerry? Yeah. Oh, right, but no, sweetie, time out, time out. See, a lot of women believe that they're different from all the other women. You would do that because let me explain to you. In your jealousy, here's how warped you are. You believe any other thing that takes up your man's time is another woman. If he loves video games, it's like that bitch gears of war. If he loves DJing, that fucking hoe spinning record, that spinning record, you get jealous of anything that you feel is better than you in the relationship. So she didn't. She she knows that. Asking a man not to have a career, not to build his life is wrong. But y'all don't give a shit because that's just your competitive, jealous nature. And it's his fault or any guy's fault for not putting an option. Now, he knew it was his fault. He learned from it. Now, look it. Bitches are suffering. Four or five holes in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to happen to you soon, too, lovey lumps. In six years, when you when the when the value of your coochie starts to depreciate, like a Ford Taurus. <laughs> 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 but you sound cute, though, precious. Are you a virgin? No. <laughs> All giggly and shit. What are y'all having a slumber party hitting each other with pillows? Oh, I can now see we got pillows. Jerry oh, I, I can see. I can see fe- little pillow pants, fe- pillow feathers sticking to the pussy. Oh God, you sexy sons of bitches! <laughs> All right, Alondra, um, take you and your goofy bo- voice and finish the rest of the night. But thank you for the call, sexy. And we got a Diana and Callie because she has something to say about what we were saying about the P dick. Hello. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Diana. Hi. Oh, yeah. Patrice, I love you. I think you're so funny. But mm. anyway, it's Thank not you. true that it was because But not of sexy, though. Of... Shit. I was hoping you said sexy. The, the, the size of... Yeah, but I'm not a dis either. Mm, but the size of his dick isn't what made her pee. What is it? Just because sometimes we have to pee. And and you get up and you go to the bathroom, but he was just a nasty pig, and it's 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 gross. And I wanted to tell you that... Um, using a vibrator, it makes you come in a different way. If you just use the vibrator, like on your clit, mm-hmm. but I can't, like I can't come with it inside of me unless my my boyfriend is using it. I can't do it to myself. I think it's, I don't know. <coughs> For some reason, saying, it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. So what's the difference between a uh, a vibration orgasm <laughs> and a and a uh, a penetration it's orgasm? Okay, a if you do it on your internal. clit, it's completely different. It's it's a completely explain different. The, explain the, the explain the difference. 
Um, I don't know how to even explain the difference. It's um, it is just. Does it does it shoot through your head, or one shoots through your vagina yeah. to your head, or one shoots through your okay, backbone to your to your earlobe? What, what's going on? The first time I ever actually came with the vibrator, just using that on my just on my clit, it, I got like this. It was amazing. I got this like hot. It was weird. I don't know. It it there's it's two different. There's two different ways. Even the doctors say that. Like I watched that crazy old lady doctor. Yeah, but we're trying to. <clears throat> we try I to don't get, know how to even explain it. Which one would you rather have? Dig dig. Uh, what a uh, chime uh, in uh, on uh, this. A, a, a penetration. <laughs> One or a, or a vibrator one? Um, a penetration one, but it, they're they're completely different. But I'm saying which one is so one is e- which one, I, is, one is easier to get. Now my girl, we probably had sex. <laughs> so four, four years of things. So at least sixteen hundred <laughs> times. Yeah. I think she's had she's come every time, but I think she's had that's my phone. And I can't even get to it. We I think we we've had sex about sixteen hundred times. And I think I've made her have, I can count maybe 30 where I got lucky enough to find the spot for her to have a, a penetration orgasm. I think the rest is, is clitoral because I, I eat the pussy. But I, but it's, and I remember how she gets where she, I know she's going to have a, pen, a penetration one. She'll choke me, <laughs> right? <laughs> she sits on top. She'll choke me and, and to, to not move. Like I've never, I don't, I think I've never made her come she moving my it. ass. She, she goes, it. sit there, fat boy. I do, and the, I do goes, the same. I do the same. Shut thing up, motherfucker! Now. Don't move, and she'll crush my larynx <laughs> 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 until she comes. Cause it's like it's it's that s- spot you find yeah, she, in the you thing. Know what's Go ahead, the baby. The size of the dick has nothing to do with that either. What size yeah, is your boyfriend? He's not packing, is he? Oh, he has a nice size dick, but it's not. He makes me come like crazy. I never had a guy that made me come. I had to learn how to make myself come when I would do it to guys because they would just want to get, you know, they were guys. How old are you? But he, it's a, how old am I? Yeah. I'm, I'm 26. She's oh, getting there for four years. But, oh, it's, no, but he, ever since the very, every time we have sex, I have came, uh, except for one, and I was mad at him because I didn't get to. Well, lucky you tend to tend to draw. <laughs> well, good. Have a good day. Hey, tell him to bust one for me tonight. Thank you for calling, precious. Hey, you know you can get a you can get a, a penetration uh, a orgasm by using if you use your abdomen and press it against the clit and rub your clit against the, the lower abdomen while you're penetrating. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I'm just trying to stay abdomen and be sexy. It's the lower abdominal wall. The st- <laughs> if you hey, got a gut, it helps. Hey, uh, uh, put Jerry back on the line, man. We, put, not, hey, Jerry, you there? Yeah, I'm here. J- are the girls there? Yes. Yes. Hey, t- look, girls, does... Is it is it uh, is it is it the dick that Jerry's slinging, or is it the is it the is it the is it the game that he's selling that makes you love him? I think it's both. Yeah, it's definitely the, both. Jerry's slinging enough right. dick to satisfy two of y'all like that. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. And what and <clears throat> and both have mm-hmm. orgasms every time y'all fuck. Multiple. Yep. Let me ask you. Let me ask you some personal shit here. He is a monster. What's what's the what's the fuck routine? Because his his me and my girl's <laughs> fuck routine is, I fuck her, then I get tired, then I eat a pussy till she comes, then I lay down and she licks my nipples while I jerk off. That's the routine. <laughs> what's what's the what's y'all routine? Like what's the what's the the thing y'all mostly do that you know is gonna satisfy each other? Um. I fuck until they come. And then I do whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's the whatever you want? Fucking film. Uh, it varies. It varies. Like whatever. Doggy style, on top. Uh, you ever have one lick your asshole and another one get the balls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, you dirty <laughs> fucking Jerry. Somebody ought to just shoot you in the head. <laughs> like, <laughs> both of them in the ass, banging yeah, them both in the, the ass. ass. Uh, really? And then, oh, like, yeah. do, ne- now neither one of you, the girls, y'all neither, y'all don't look at each other like, wait a minute, you gave her ten pumps, and I only got no. six. No, no. 